Hello everyone, my name is Chancellor, I'm Community Manager of Heavy Metal Machines. I'm Sada Munches, also Community Manager for Heavy Metal Machines. And we are here for the Great Night for the finals of the Metal League. So, so far six teams have played uh, till today, and today we're gonna know who is the great champion of Europe. In the first edition of the Metal League, in April of this month, uh, we had the Neo Knights winning and right now they are competing again for another title but i'm very excited to see how the other teams are going to compete because metal sect anarchist uh is the the actual the current uh champion of the last metal league on north america and they are here to compete and fight against the other team so we have metal sect anarchist neo knights metal sect assembly and humeros bala three Europeans and one Brazilian team uh, fighting for the title. Yes, we have come full circle and remember that the winning team will get 5,000 euros home so we're really excited to see some good plays and also stick with us until the end because we do have a big announcement to do at the end of the stream as usual as we do always on uh, Metal League. Yes, we have more things coming for you for the next Metal League and, and just a, a small correction, it's not 5,000 euros for the winning team, but it's the oh, total yes, price. Sorry, total price for yes, all the sorry. for the first four teams from our uh, metal league. So hello everyone, Scratch, Death, Antisept, Real Pain, Wacker, a lot of familiar faces and names here. Okay, everyone is here to watch the great, uh, great moment. Gino War from the College League from Brazil, it's here as well. So yeah, we are very excited to see and. We have now the first semi-final, it's Metal Sect Anarchist again against Romero's Bala. Um, two great teams, Metal Sect Anarchist, they are the current um, uh, top. top team from the, from the general ranking, but they also won the Metal League on North America. And Romero's Bala, they are the Brazilian team who had played for the entire uh, qualifier stage. And they are here, even though they didn't uh, win their match against VCK game, but because of an irregular player, VCK game was disqualified. So now Romero's Bala is in the same finals. Okay, the other same final is Metal Sect Assembly, the team number three, if I'm not wrong, against Neo Nice team number one. Okay, uh, n n number two, I'm sorry, <laughs> Metal Sect Honor because it's the number one. Uh, okay, so uh, let's let's start with this. This heavy metal machines metal league with the draft. Remember, metal sect anarchists will start first drafting, so they have the the the. They will have the first ban. The first ban, and they have the first pick, and they have to create the draft. And we're gonna watch it here. Who, uh, how's gonna be their strategy? You know what you're yeah. waiting for. And also, well, not only strategy, but in this metal league, we decided to break like this kind of rule we always had of not messing with balance. So the teams have had some time to uh, get used to our tipster. The buff that we got to our tipster, we also got that nerf on on Dirt Devil. So I'm excited to see maybe some different compositions using our tipster. We're seeing some players saying that our tipster is very strong right now. So I'm excited to see how they will fill that with Artifser. We know that Artifser is very good with uh, great, like big transporters because mm -hmm. it's easier to hit. So I'm excited to see that chance. Yeah, and I want to see in the comments for uh, who are you cheering? So hashtag Homeros, hashtag MSA. Let me know uh, what is the biggest uh, fan base in our in our Twitch, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I think our production is getting the code for the draft, so we're gonna be able to see and to check the first ban and the first uh, picks of the first match of this same finals with the ESL, this is the Metal League, uh, European version season 6, this is the second Metal League on the European server and yeah, yeah I'm pretty excited to see. Yeah, I'm excited too. Uh, You're with... creating tradition, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another tradition that we're creating is that me and Chancellor are again all fancy dressed yes, up for this Metal are. League because you know we we've started doing this and now you know I got my bow tie I you got, got your yes. I don't know the name of that tie but that's yes. your kind of tie it's my tie and yes yeah, so we're starting like with already a a huge match because we know that Humanos Bala is also a very talented team from the Brazilian server. It will be kind of, you know, they will have to deal with an extra uh, barrier, which will, because they're playing from the South America, from South America, they will deal with a bigger latency, but I think they'll put up a fight. I'm expecting yeah. to see... Uh, and, and since we don't have uh, draft, 
during the qualifiers. What is the most, what is the, the, the pilot that we you can expect to be banned in this first match? Because I'm seeing here that Black Lotus was picked 304 times uh, with 173 victories. So this is, an, uh, this is a win rate of 56.9%. Yeah, it is. I guess if you're starting to pick, uh, you banning a transporter and then picking the other might give you an advantage because of the transporters they're currently uh, doing well in the meta. So that might give them an advantage, but we're also seeing a lot of damage. So I think the teams will have to pick wisely if they're going to take damage out of the table or if they're going to take a transporter out of the table from the other team and just pick the best one for themselves. Yes. Uh, Scratch is saying that he's calling a 3-0 and another 3-0 for Anarchist in less than 10 minutes. And we're already also seeing some uh, great uh, catch words that uh, Chancellor usually uses during our metal Saying Sensacional! Oh, he already said it. I was gonna <laughs> say, don't say it right now. Let's save it for a great <laughs> moment. But okay, Sensacional is already happening on the table. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have the draft, Black Star? Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay, Black Star is here. We are in the different studio, but with the old familiar background. And we have Santos, Zana, Black Star, the whole team is here for the great finals of the Metal League Season 6. Yeah, actually, those stones you see in the corners, me and Chancellor spent last night just, you know, working on those stones. So they, so they look the same yes. from the other studio. <laughs> yeah, and, and we have here the list, the, the, the top team the top picks list so i think this is a good thing for us to uh, to announce to the community so they can expect things for draft the top uh pick a transporter and a pilot in the entire metal league is black lotus black lotus as i said with 304 picks uh the top support was stargazer with 142 picks and 97 victories a very good win rate from stargazer and the top pick Interceptor is Rampage with 209, 125 victories. So um, Black Lotus, Stargazer and Rampage, a lot of picks, almost 60% of win hate during the Metal League. What do we can expect? These are going to be the most banned pilots or can we expect a different, different compositions? We can see that our Chiefster uh, got 44 picks and 22 uh, victors, but we don't know when this happened because exactly. it could be after the I was I had my box. eyes on Artipster and those <laughs> stats actually because I was just thinking that Artipster wasn't really picked at the start, but now she, she might be an option and she has 50% win rate. So those numbers actually are not fair to use with Artipster. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to see like if the teams really practice with her and yeah, I'm eager to see what they will pull out. And the most used composition, uh, I think we have the general stats to show to the to players uh, Sorry. yeah I think something wrong yeah we're that. hiding right now everyone okay there you so, go. <laughs> okay no this is not what we are looking for but we are looking for the general stats uh, that shows the most picked composition in the entire metal league that is made by black lotus rampage vulture and stargazer now now you can see so 24 matches, 22 victories, a huge win hate. I'm sorry, <laughs> a huge win hate. And I, I, I'm eager to see how they're going to, if it's any team will be uh, able to uh, get this composition, even with the draft and bans. Uh, when Chancellor is actually saying win hate, he doesn't act, is not actually cheering for hate to win. He's actually, he actually win means win rate. Win <laughs> so, rate. Yeah, but just so you don't think that we're actually spreading negativity right now. No, no, no. Win rate. So uh, now we have the draft. Okay, so first team is Metal Sect Anarchist. They ban Little Monster and Humerus Bala ban Black Lotus. So we're not going to have the most picket transporter on this uh, match. Uh, we have Rampage for the Metal Sect Anarchist. And Humerus Bala got the combo Artificer plus Wildfire. And now here comes the Stargazer. Yeah, we already see devil. Yeah, we already see very strong picks for Bala with Wildfire dealing a lot of damage and Artificer healing. And I'm impressed to see that actually both teams decided to just take off both transporters from the table. We might see uh, Heavily uh, strong damage compositions here, Chancellor. Yeah, Ice Ringer was picked 10 times less 
than Black Lotus. Black Lotus was picked 304, Ice Ringer is 34. You know, the difference is huge. Yeah, I'm actually having a hard time here thinking about uh, the next pick for Bala. That my, do you think they could go with Ice Bringer? Because, you know, Ice Bringer, is, it requires a lot of skill to actually be but efficient. But not so much ping, you know? Exactly, but having that latency, because you really have to time very well those weapons for you to be very efficient with Ice Bringer, as Ice Bringer is able to take tons of damage. Okay, they went with Stingray, Stingray so we might see three damage dealers and our tips are trying to keep up with them uh our tips are maybe we'll have a oh okay now the counter pick so msa got the ice bringer so they have a very strong combo with ice bringer and stargazer it's and they don't the bala doesn't have a good crowd control uh, machine so far so it's gonna be very hard for homero's bala take off the bomb away from the take it away the bomb from the from the Romero's Bala team, since they don't have us, uh, since uh, Emma say got the ice ring and they don't have a peacemaker, to... Chancellor peacemaker. So I guess our team sir will have a good time keeping that peacemaker alive. Peacemaker will be dealing with the dirt devil from uh, Metal Sect, so maybe we'll see how efficient that our team sir will be in keeping them alive, and if peacemaker will be able to, you know, run away from that giant sandworm so it doesn't swallow him. Yes, Peacemaker is a very uh, strong machine, but with this latency facing uh, Dirt Devil in the other side, I, I don't know. The, like, it's the obvious pick. If they have Ice Ringer there, the weapon tool of Peacemaker is very effective to cause damage. But on this case, I don't know if it's gonna make that huge difference that we are expecting. Yes, exactly, because they will be have to be extra accurate to hit hit those weapons with Peacemaker and Dirt Devil will be playing with a you know lovely yes. uh, latency and we'll have no trouble uh, keeping up with uh, Peacemaker and trying to take him down. So I guess a lot rests on or tips her shoulder to keep her team alive. So we'll see how that plays out. Yes, and it's gonna be very important for the Humanos Bala team to position their Peacemaker uh, 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 close to the droppers and use his weapon 3 to pull, uh, to push, actually, exactly. Ice Bringer As to the dropper. Seen, uh, uh, during our Metal Leagues, Peacemaker is very good at blocking the road because the team that has to deal with him really has to go there and take him off the road or else the transporter from the opposite team cannot pass it without dropping the bomb. Yeah, and we know that on the other side, on Metal Sect Anarchist, we have Antiseptic. So this guy is very good with the Ice Bringer. We know that he's famous for this this pilot. Let's see. On the red side, we have Surgic Wallon Wack Band <coughs> and Antiseptic. And on the other side, Bard Sawyer, Daniel Pena, and King Joke. And also another <coughs> interesting statistic here, Chancellor, is that Rampage is the top pick for Metalsec Arnicus and the win rate is 97% Chancellor. Yes. That is a crazy win rate. Yeah, but, but the problem is almost all pilots has a huge win rate with, with Metalsec, Metalsec <laughs> Arnicus because that they played true. 58 matches and they won 54. It's a 93.1. Yeah, actually, I see a lot of 100% win rates here, even with their tipster. They picked their tipster 15 times, won all of them. Uh, do we have that statistic for Humero's Bala with our tipster? Yeah, Humero's Bala with her they tipster, they played her twice, twice and, and they, they lost both. They lost both, so they will have to do an extra effort here to make that happen because Matosek Arnikis is looking very good. Okay, just waiting for Surgic to restore the match. Uh, I think it's gonna be a cool and a nice metal league. Chancellor, do you know why I know it's gonna be cool? Why? Because we're gonna hear your narrating. It's oh, all, it's, my narrating. It's always very thrilling to see you narrating. Yes. Just, just a quick reminder to everyone uh, who's watching us uh, for our audience. This morning I was narrating the college league, the last round of the college league here in Brazil. So now I'm on the metal league and tomorrow I have the finals of the college league. So it's basically the entire weekend talking all the time about heavy metal machines. What a nice weekend. Yeah, and also on Monday, please be extra nice to Chancellor if you ever talk to Chancellor because <laughs> his brain will probably be a jelly yes. like Chancellor likes to say sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, 
I'm, I'm, uh, actually, I was discussing with Blackstar this morning that it's a good way to closure my to close my 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 year since I'm gonna uh, go out on vacations next in two weeks. Vacations? Yes. Yeah, so. Are you gonna leave me here working only with Xantos? I will yeah. have to stay with Xantos. Yeah, but Xantos is a good guy. He is a very good, very guy. good guy. You know, Xantos is smiling right now. You can't see it, but Xantos got his smile on his face right now. Look at what that a pretty beautiful smile. smile. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Congratulations smile. for that smile. <laughs> okay, so Icebringer is on the screen. You can see that probably Antiseptic, yes, Antiseptic is gonna play. Uh, we have Whack Band with Daredevil, the Stargazer is Walland, and Surgic is the Rampage. And we have three of the top 10 players in a ranking mode in MSA Anarchist. So we have Walland, Antiseptic, and Surgic, all of them with the heavy metal rank. This is huge. Yes. And, that, and it looks beautiful. And on the other side, we have two. So five of uh, five, five out of the ten are on these matches: Sawyer, Daniel Pena, King five Joke, and Bards. Bards with the Wildfire King Sawyer, Joke with the Stingray. Daniel Pena with and the White the, the Artificer, and Sawyer with the Peacemaker. And we know that Antiseptics Icebringer always puts on a show, so I'm very excited to see that Antiseptic will not be dealing with latency too you know so he will be extra dangerous uh icebringers uh stats for metal sec arnicus uh they picked icebringer 24 times and won 22 of those so you know that's something you would expect from uh antiseptics icebringer okay so the green light appears on the screen and now it's time for the metal league uh, who's gonna get the first bomb possession is MSA with the Stargazer. Wallon is there trying to pass the bomb to Antiseptic. Antiseptic now got the bomb and he's trying to go to the enemy side. Uh, Artificer is there, Daniel Payne is trying to deal some damage, but Antiseptic is carrying the bomb all the way through the enemies. And Peacemaker uh, was already in trouble and had to leave. Peacemaker is right now running away, I believe. Yeah. And now uh, Metal Sect Anarchist has three uh, enemies around them, but Antiseptic is, being, is able to repair his whole life. It's not because he's a nice bringer, but because he has an, uh, Stargazer. a Stargazer with him. And Daniel Pena was able to, you, to use his youth mate one more time, actually the first time, and push Icebringer to the dropper. And like we said, it's going to be very important to take this bomb away from the Icebringer. Yeah, actually, uh, Homero's ball is doing a great job with damage. I'm eager actually to see in a bit, maybe not right now because the match just started, but the stats for the healing and the damage because I want to see how that Stargazer and Artificer will perform against each other and who will be able to heal more because Humedos uh, uh, Bala actually has a lot of damage on the table too. Yes, yeah, Antiseptic with the bomb now going to the last turn, uh, ready to go to the final stretch. The Stingray is back on the town but it's not enough. Here comes Antiseptic ready to score! And the score, the first score of the day, Metal Sect Anarchist with Antiseptic playing the Icebringer. Yeah, I'm eager to see, can we see the damage for that match? Because I, I, I think Rampage damage, well, that's not so much actually. Dirt Devil dealt almost double the damage that Rampage did. That's very impressive. Yeah, it's huge. So Blackstar is turning on Turning up the, 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 the sound. Yeah, the sound, the volume. The so volume, so now the bomb is with our chief, sir. So the Romero's bomb is going to take their first trial of the day. Let's move and focus on the bomb right now because right now Daniel Pena with the, uh, with the our chief, sir, is uh, carrying the bomb and going to the enemy side. So uh, the bomb got into the dropper and now Surgic has it. He passed to uh, Antiseptic and now it's time for the, the Metal Sector Anarchist to uh, do one more round on their offense. Well, look at the Artifs are trying to keep that wildfire alive. Uh, she was able to uh, pump that life back up the life bar, but they're struggling to stay alive. Look at that Rampage just trying to get down. It's that not that leaving Artifs yeah. and Wildfire the alone. The camera is on the Wildfire from the other team. So now we're going to see, okay, now we have 
the Peacemaker there, the Icebringer there with the with the bomb, waiting for the right time. The sun comes and goes. Say it cold right hand. No. Nope. Okay, it's fixed. Now I think it's fixed. Let me know in the comments what is the, the situation right now. This is look dominant though, this the sad <laughs> sad numbers. Numbers, yeah. Yeah. Wallon is there trying to survive. Uh, the ice bringer is gone. But Wallon is going backwards and using his weapon one. Look at Stargazers, not every day that you can see something like that. Yeah, backwards towards Bala's goal. So we might see are we gonna see a Stargazer scoring? Nope. Nope, it's gonna be anti septic with the bomb. He's the ice bringer trying to score uh, uh uh, Peacemaker respawn on top of him. Now Antiseptic is dead. And who's gonna take it? King Joke with the Stingray. So now it's gonna be a tough situation for Metal Sect Anarchist because they lost their transporter and they have the bomb they don't have the bomb anymore. But here comes their devil weapon and the pass is done and De Daniel Pena has it. Yeah, they don't they didn't have their transporter, but they have a dirt dev on a rampage, and those two are very good. They're dealing damage and rampage even has an easy time dropping the bomb, which we can't really say actually for Homero's Bala. Aside from Peacemaker, they don't really have a way to drop the bomb from Antiseptic, so they really have to take down that life bar and destroy Icebringer if they want to get possession of the bomb back. And the youth made of Peacemaker came. Here goes Antiseptic trying to score one more time. He used the weapon too, and now it's another score 2-0 for the Anarchist. And we might be having uh, two, they, I guess people are hearing the voice twice. Is that fixed? We got that fixed, Blackstar? Yes, I think we're gonna fix it. Uh, Lots of echo going yeah. on. Yeah, now let's, let's focus the bomb on the screen. Um, everything is ready for the, now good. Thank you, Code Hands, for the feedback. Uh, green lights on the screen. Let's see if the Metal Sect Anarchy is gonna dominate again this match or if Romero's Battle will have any chance against them. This is the um, this is the uh, semi-final Homeros Bala against uh, Metal Sect Anarchists. Yeah, and there goes Antiseptic with his Ice Bringer. If that Stargazer and Ice Bringer just stay alive, I know that Bala will have a hard time taking the possession of the bomb back. Look at that rampage just wrecking. It's not letting King Joe play his Stingray. Wildfire is almost out too, Chancellor. Yes, and the Archipster is done. Wildfire is done. Now it's the perfect timing for the Anarchist to finish this match. They are dominant and they are carrying the bomb all the way uh, with a, a very easy life, right? Antiseptic is there with a lot of patience waiting for the right moment. Here goes Antiseptic to try to score and the first win goes to the Anarchist. 3-0. Yeah, that was a very solid gameplay from Metalsec Anarchist. They had a very good composition with healing, uh, a very good transporter and damage and bomb dropping. Uh, Homero's Bala's composition wasn't as good as uh, I guess because they really relied heavy on damage and against that composition from Metal Sect Arnicus, it's not very yes. ideal. Five minutes of match, they won 3-0. I think the, the latency plus combined with the, the high skill of the enemy's team is gonna make the life so hard exactly. for the, for and the Bala. Especially if you're playing against Antiseptic, you can kind of expect that uh, that uh, Icebringer to show up and uh, if they we had Clunker and Killer J available on the table so I wonder what Homero's Bala was thinking by not picking them I know Clunker is not very good at dealing damage like maybe he wouldn't be able to keep up but Killer J deals uh, good damage and is also able to drop the bomb and maybe get that Stargazer away too yeah he has the weapon one very often for a match like that so yeah, it's important for them exactly and with Icebringer it's also much easier to hit and make Icebringer turn and maybe drop the bomb in those long stretches in the arena totally so agree. yeah let's see what will happen now yeah people were saying that they love your tie they love my tie thank you so yeah. much yeah yes. I, I really love bow ties and i actually plan on starting a collection of a bow collection ties. of bow yeah. ties okay that's great so we are ready for the second match of this of the semi-final uh if it's too quick 
we're gonna be able to watch the, uh, an eventual third match of the other semifinal, according to what happened. But uh, we already said to Metal Sector Anarchy. Now, now it's time for the Romero's Bala. For Romero's Bala to, to start, start the, gra the yeah, draft. They will start the draft. We'll see how they will adapt to this. Maybe we'll see Ice Springer banned. I'm not sure if that's really necessary though. If you have the pilots to drop the bomb and if you're able to hit and we know that Romero's Bala is very good at playing and they're very precise and accurate even though they are playing with a, a higher latency i believe that if they bring that to the table the match won't be as easy as it was for metal sec arnicists yes and yeah th this is great we are ready to share and to show the draft for the second match on this time esl and our team is talking about uh doing the the second match 1-0 for the anarchists if they win again they are on the finals. If they lose, uh, it's gonna be a great, a great third match. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go on. Yeah, because if they lose, it means that Hubertus Ballet is actually bringing their game on, and I'm excited. To but see but it. the third game would be very decisive, decisive because who's gonna pick first? It's gonna be Anarchist again. Yeah. So Hubertus Bala maybe can be able to manage and win this one, but can the uh, can they overcome this with the... They will have to be one step ahead of Metalsec Arnicus and the, that yeah. is a tough thing to do because Metalsec Arnicus look, are looking very comfortable right now with their picks. Okay, so let's go to watch the draft of the second match Anarchist against Bala, the Brazilian team against the European team. So the first team is uh, now it's Bala and they banned Rampage. Yeah. So, yeah, no Rampage for Surgic. Yeah, we know that uh, Anarchist Rampage is their best pick uh, with the 97% uh, win rate. So that was a great ban. Very different from what we saw in the first match where both teams actually decided to take off Transporter to the table. Uh, Want to see what Metal Sec Arnarchist will ban now? They might be going yeah, for... Yeah, probably Black Lotus. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm feeling Black Lotus right now. I, could be Vulture, but I don't think they are the the are that afraid of Vulture from so, a South American team playing on Europe. Yeah, so, exactly. It's a tough spot actually for Bala, but I'm I'm I know that they can do yeah. this. I think they done the they they've done the the right move here because. Um, what they want, they want to have the best transporter, and on the other match, they didn't have the advantage of picking first. So now they're gonna be on this position. They can make the pick on Black Lotus if MSA let let them go. So yeah, that's true. And in response, I wonder if will we see also a little monster maybe in this match, Chancellor? Yes, little could monster. be a little monster. I I believe that the the draft uh, has an issue. I don't know. Yeah, I, we don't know what happened to the ban as well. We are checking with the teams because Rampage was banned, but uh, the other pilot was, wasn't and the time um, the time was over. So, yeah, they banned character and their line no name. <laughs> Said real pain. <laughs> and so with, if we see Little Monster, Metal Set Arnicus played Little Monster three times during Metal League. They won all of them. And Humeros Bala played Little Monster 14 times and only won three of those. Yeah, it's kind of... it's uh, Humeros Bala is in a tight spot here against uh, Metal Sec Arnicists. Yes, yes. And I'm seeing myself on the, the screen and I just... I'm, I'm, this is going to be a long night for us, you know? It's going to be a long night? A long night, yeah, I believe that. It, it's nice to have a long night by your side, Chester. Oh. <laughs> I can't say the same thing because you're so arch enemies. Uh, okay, a hundred percent win rate. Win rate. In this in this semifinals, I guess yeah, I guess Metalsec Arnicus a hundred percent win rate right now. We'll see if Homero's Bala will be able to change that though and bring it down to do, fifty. Do you know who I'm I'm missing right now in the chat? T Bone. T Bone. Where yes, is T Bone? Where is T Bone? Where is T Bone? Where is Hot T? Hot T. Hot T is probably playing. Oh, that's true. Hot T is busy. No, he was playing for the Inca Empire, but I don't know if he's here because Inca Empire is not. Okay, we have the draft. I'm sorry. Uh, so we had Rampage Band. Let's see if. We oh, T Bone have is watching us. 
Oh, T Bone. Okay, so Rampage was the first team. Was the first pilot we have band. Draft. Yeah, we have another draft. So this is the what it happened. Uh, we had a problem on that one, so they are remaking that. And yeah, I we have to wait. It's gonna. It, it, it's it's look behind you. T Bone is here. T Bone. You know, do you think T Bone is able to think of another great question to us? Chancellor, Another great we have been having great questions from T-Bone on a recap, yes. and we'll, we'll need one more. One more? Actually, I know what we can do in what the meantime. What do you want today, T-Bone, Death Set? What, exactly, Death, Death, we're on the same page today, Death, you might be a little snaky today. <laughs> uh, yay, I love T-Bone's questions. Um, maybe you know what we could do we have planned actually some uh, giveaways for this live stream maybe we could get a giveaway going Santos what do you say for the giveaways yeah, okay. okay then let's think of a word people will have to type a word on the chat that Chancellor will pick in his invisible word jar no 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 this not no that's not and the word is I cannot read your 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 handwriting is horrible. Oh, come on, I it's, it's cannot so, yes. read it. Is that is that sensacional that I read? Sensacional. That's sensacional okay. that I read right there. So okay, if you type sensacional in a bit, Zantos will let me know when this <laughs> is ready. If you type sensacional, you will have a chance to win a metal legend model. Metal legend model. A metal cool. legend model, and well, well, let's see. Not right now, Rupin. Not right now, Guilherme GC. Uh, Zantos will let us know. In the meanwhile, Chancellor, uh, what are your, th your th I don't know what I'm gonna do. We could do another giveaway while we wait for the other giveaway. No, I'm oh just kidding. God. Let's not no, do yeah, that. Yeah, you're you're kidding. Okay, so waiting for Santos to set the sensacional giveaway. I think it is. Okay, everyone, it should be working right now. Just type sensacional on the chat if you don't know how to type sensacional you can follow grill pain grill pain's example it's s-e-n-s-a-c-i-o-n-a-l that's a long word to spell yes that, that is. <laughs> you were right so yeah people were already joining the giveaway um uh, and we are waiting for the draft i really don't know what happened but yeah I'm, re I'm really curious to know you know yes. that that rampage band really you know Masked with that the was yeah, the that was that was a huge for sure definitely. it was a rampage I, band yeah the ra you know and it's rampage and it's, maybe it's rampage got like very <laughs> pissed that he's out of the game and who he, knows what rampage can he do he broke the draft yeah rampage probably broke the draft so we'll yeah. have to work on that <laughs> delph said that it's spelled cachaça cachaça yeah of course not that we know what that is we have no idea what you're talking about look yes, at us dressed all fancy do you yeah think? this this guy with this this outfit These we will never we would never drink, drink cachaça. cachaça yeah absolutely not some uh something are having some issue with the draft we are working on this okay we have some problems with the draft we are working on that so what about we sharing with the community the map of partners video yeah, so right. We have the metal partners. Oh, oh no, yeah. okay. I think we have the a, a different draft. Oh my god! Oh so, my god! What yes, is going on? a lot on? of things going I'm, on. Uh, oh my goodness! Okay, I think we have a draft. So if we, we have, have a draft, we're gonna watch the draft. Yes, because I'm right now very anxious to know what the second band is. We have been. We actually could. Who do you think it's gonna be? It's gonna be Black Lotus. 100% yeah, sure. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Black Lotus too. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty confident that it's gonna be Black Lotus. Uh, okay, Rampage, one more time for the third time on this same draft, you are Batman. So let's wait for the for the for the other for one. For the second Ben. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's Killer, Killer J. J. What? Oh, Jinx. <laughs> What happens now? Do I drink a shasa? Yes, no, oh. you, you just, I don't okay, know. Okay, I'll be right okay, back, everyone. Okay, Killer J, I think they were hearing us, and they decided to not letting a Killer J play. Yeah, that, that was unusual, be because it was Metal Sect Anarchist who, um, who banned Killer J. No, but it makes totally sense. If they plan to have Icebringer again, then it is a good thing that uh, Homero's Bala won't be able to pick... Killer, Killer J. J. And then depending on the picks that Metal Sec Arnicus do now, they might make 
uh, put uh, Humeros Bala in a tight spot again. Let's see how well Humeros Bala can read this game and learn from what happened in the last game to uh, last game to adapt. They already got a Black Lotus. That's that's a huge pick, and we'll just have to see if they will be able to make that uh, efficient against Metosec Arnicus. Yes, and it's going to be very important for these Black Lotus to worth the first round pick because. They have the, the, the duty now to win, you know. Metasect Anarchist has the advantage, so... No it's, pressure, it's though, right? The, all, the, all the pressures are up there, under, over the Black Lotus shoulder right now. All the pressure. I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> uh, Xantos, can you confirm to us that the, the giveaway is working? Yes, giveaway okay. Giveaway is working, so Dirt, don't forget. Yes, Daredevil and Clunker now the picks for Anarchists. Anarchist. Clunker, this Clunker, is that's, that's, that's what I was saying, that... Killer J is off the table, and now Clunker is with them. Uh, Icebringer might be a safe pick again because they won't be able to drop and mess with Icebringer's, you know, uh, movement, and they will have to deal damage to take the bomb if Metal Sect Arnicus decides to have Icebringer back on Antiseptic's hands. Uh, Lotus, Lotus isn't invincible, but though, but it's scary, said Walker. Yeah, the, the tight, uh, the difficult part for Homero's Bala is having to deal with the latency, but a Black Lotus against an Icebringer with no uh, crowd control in their team, it's it's tough. Okay, so Wildfire, they're um, assuring, assuring, they're assuring, 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 assuring their damage, and... And now, the, what they're going to pick to support this Black Lotus? Do you think they're going to pick a supporter at all? Um, we know that a, a common composition uh, being used right now is Black Lotus along with three damage dealers. But as this is a Metal League match and Homero's Ball is playing against Metal Set Arnicus, which are coming in very strong, they actually might have to rely on a support to stay alive. We saw them struggle in the last match to stay alive. Uh, it's tough. It's tough because they are dealing, they have an extra uh, opponent to deal with. Yes, for sure. So now Metal Sect Anarch is gonna pick their third pick and it's Stargazer. So this is very common to see. European players really love Stargazer in a way that the Brazilians are not using. So there's, there's, there are uh, clearly difference between the two communities. Yeah, I'm wondering if we might see maybe a Wind Rider actually. I forgot that Wind Rider is also able to drop the bomb. We might see a Wind Rider to go along with that Black Lotus here. We'll see what uh, Metal's Bala will do. Although, their uh, Wind Rider, they have picked Wind Rider 20 times in this tournament, but they only won three. So that's a 15% wow. win rate with Wind Rider. We know Humeros Bala is actually very strong uh, with that composition, but here they, it might not be as effective. Yes, and their most used composition has one Black Lotus, Daredevil, Killer J, and Wildfire. So three interceptors and one transporter so we might not gonna see oh my god what just happened they counterpicked antisept and they got two transporters this is unusual yeah I'm... oh my god what a strategy that is a good very good idea actually because now they don't have to worry about what we were talking about before and they they if black lotus fails to to deliver they still have icebringer and <laughs> we actually don't see a lot of damage on uh, metal sec uh, anarchist side we only have dirt devil there to actually deal a lot of a lot of damage little monster stargazer and clunker are not very good at that yes this is gonna be very fun to watch especially because in this right now uh, what we can read from this situation is that Humanos Bala was predicting that Anarchist let uh, Icebringer for the last pick and they stole it. Yeah, that it was kind. Of, it was do you think would this seem to be very uh, premeditated? Is that the yes. word? Because uh, Anarchist just didn't worry about picking uh, Icebringer. They took other things off the table first, but then we were really not expecting. 
but Homero's Bala to pick that Icebreaker. Yeah. We have two transporters, two damage dealers. <laughs> Let's see how this will play out. This is already an exciting Yes, match. and anti Septi just typed with a no. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think Anarchists are happy with this. How this draft went. Very good twist. Exactly what Homero's Bala needed to do. Yes. I, 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 now I'm very curious for an eventual... Uh, Third draft between those teams, you know? Yeah. If Homero's Bala wins this one. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun match to watch. Uh, and also, just bringing another statistic to the table, Chance yeah, okay. Let me Homero's see. Bala picked Icebringer two times, but they didn't win. Let's see if they'll be able to make this differently right now. We don't know the situations where this happened before. But uh, Metal Sack Arnicus does not really have a lot of damage to, <laughs> to take that Icebringer down. Yeah, so hashtag go, MS, MSA hashtag go Bala, people are commenting. And also don't forget about our giveaway that is going on. You can type sensacional in the chat. If Miss Fullscreen is here with us, Miss Fullscreen can teach you how to type sensacional on the chat. Although Miss Fullscreen might join the giveaway if she does that. Don't worry, if most Miss Fullscreen actually does join the giveaway, Miss Fullscreen will not take a Metal Legend model home. I'm so sorry, Miss Fullscreen. You already have plenty of models from our game. Yeah, so Bards, King Joke, Sorry, and Daniel Pena, they are the players for the Homero's Bala. And on the other time, we have uh, Wallon, Wanking Toss, Antiseptic, and now Wackman. So this is the MSA Anarchist. They already have the... They already have the banner from, they're gonna have actually this season, the banner from winning the Less. Metal League uh, North America. And if they win again, it's gonna be a full Metal City, Metal God Arena of Anarchists. Both banners? Both actually, banners from the same team. I this didn't is crazy. think about that. That is truly crazy. I guess they deserve it if they win different yes. Metal Leagues. It makes totally, total sense. Total, total. total. Okay. Good game, so let's go to the game. And at the start of the match, uh, Bala has Black Lotus, so I'm guessing they're getting first to the bomb unless they hit a wall. Uh, but it's, it's I, I'm really curious to see how Metal Sack Arnicus will take possession of the bomb back if they'll be able to. Uh, they do have a clunker, they might be able to keep dropping it. Let's see how they pull that off. Yes, and I'm pretty excited for the next week. Now, next Wednesday, we're gonna have the new season of our Metal Pass. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm very excited. If if you guys haven't watched yet, we made a special live stream this Thursday, me and Zantos, where we showed the new model for Windrider, which is coming uh, on Dawn of Winter, the next season of the Metal Pass. We also had a special guest in the live stream. Pitalu, our art director, was there talking to you about what Windrider's role will be in the next season because we also have a very good lore and Pitalu told us that whatever happens to the characters next season is canon so it is actually going to uh, change and add to Heavy Metal Machine's story or and lore yes and we have the Metal Pass promo the video showing all these models these cool models these new items on this live stream so stay tuning in because we're gonna share very soon this video so let's go to the match right now because the time is uh out it's on the it's count on. it's we're, we're the match is starting and we there you <coughs> go what do we have yeah, four transporters new meta <laughs> oh. do we have four transporters no we don't oh, have okay. we have only three three we have three transporters three out of four only Full Metal Judge is not on this match. I know that some people might be counting Dirt Devil as a transporter, but we're not doing that right now. Yes. Jeez, this, does this look familiar? Okay, numbers are seeing something familiar there. Inside is cheering about Wind Rider. Inside, I wonder, have you seen a new model? If I have. If no, if Inside, inside. has, because he seems very happy about Wind Rider. Okay. So, um, the top team is Targazer with Walland. There, there it is. Walland, Wank, uh, Wanking Toss. No, it's, it's Wanking Toss. Uh, Wallon. 
Swallow, Wack Band, Antiseptic, and uh, a Little Monster is. Uh, okay, waiting for the change on the bomb. Okay, that is it. There you go. Black there Lotus go. picked Sawyer the with the bomb first, so he's gonna transport that with the Black Lotus. Let's see. He's the top, the current top one of our rank mode. Ranking mode, right? And now Winking Toss, yes, he killed Daniel Payne. Daniel Payne killed the Wack Band. So one player out of uh, each team. Sorry with the ball. Maybe this is the time, this is the moment for Romero's Bala. They're showing a very unique composition here. Sawyer, one more time. He's trying to advance. He's um, uh, trying to stop a little bit just to not fall in traps. And now King Joke has the ice bringer. And this is what happened. The first was water was down. Okay, they had to. Um, Clunker pushed ice bringer and got possession of the bomb back, Chancellor. Yes, and now they, he was gonna try to pass the bomb to intercept with the ice, the little monster. Uh, little monster jumping over the ice bringer youth mate. <coughs> and now trying to find a space to advance. Uh, Daniel Payne is there with the stingray trying to use his youth. Now, actually, he's ready to use his youth mate, but he's almost dying, and now he's dead because Wallon with the Stargazer killed him, and Wanking Toss with the yes, it's Wanking Toss with the little monster trying to find a way out of this mess. Yeah, you know that Stargazer kind of reminds me of your Stargazer, Chancellor. That My really Stargazer. Yeah, that really likes to chase people to do damage instead of healing, Chancellor. Yes, this is this is totally me, totally me. <laughs> So Daniel Pan tried to pass the bomb. What happened here? Uh, the bomb is there, antiseptic with the clunker. Stargazer is helping her, him. <laughs> and it's a cough and a, a comment at and the same a laugh time. Too. Yeah, it's antiseptic. He's gonna transport this one. I don't. I don't believe what I'm seeing. So they have three. Trans we have three transporters on this match, and it was the clunker who was transporting. But now Wanking Toss got the bomb back to his possession and he's trying to score for the Anarchists. So Anarchists from Europe, they're playing with the good latency. For the Brazilian guys from Bala, it's a very tough uh, environment to face such good opponent like uh, the Anarchists. So Wanking Toss is trying to advance, waiting for the right moment to advance. Uh, Sawyer is there trying to cause some damage. Uh, the Stargazer is repairing the allies. Uh, Wanking Toss with a lot of time. It's two, uh, two men down for the Bala. Here goes Wanky Toss trying to score one more tight clunker and the score. What a play from the Anarchists. That was a, was that a great, yeah, that was an ultimate from Clunker. Very well used, I guess. It's a very hard thing to avoid, you know, when you have a Clunker with his special weapon in front of the goal and the bomb there, it's a tough spot. Yes, we're gonna announce something, Ace. We're gonna announce the new Metal League and how it's gonna work because we're changing the format. What? Okay, I didn't catch you. Uh, Sawyer with the bomb trying to advance with the Black Lotus one more time. He's trying to find some space. The last time Sawyer went all the way through the first stretch, but he lost the bomb and Icebringer took took it and lost the bomb, so it seems like the Metal Sect Anarchist has a very good defense on that specific point of the arena. Did you see a Sawyer's little touch with a Black Lotus Chancellor? Did you notice? A little touch? Yes, Sawyer is using a, a model for Black Lotus that was available uh, at the South American European Championship, you know, that special model. Yes. For and Simply the Brazilian the and the Brazilian team is playing, you know, I thought that was a nice touch. Yes, it is. Like it's he's showing the Brazilian power there. And but now it's antiseptic with the 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 clunker carrying the bomb. And the anarchist has have all the advantage to score because uh, only black only Lotus. black lotus is alive and trying to pursue this this antiseptic uh, clunker. So now Wanky Toss with the bomb trying to score for the second time on this match and uh, trying to get this the the best uh, position for his team he's waiting for the teammates to clear the way here goes Wanking Toss one more time try to score and Clunker 
Whoa, my god, anti-septic twice with the youth mate. Two zero for the anarchist. Even when anti-septic is not playing transporter, he's the one making sure the bomb goes into the opponent's team's uh, goal. And Homero's Bala will have to deal with that clunker because we see that uh, Metalsec uh, Anarchist's strategy clearly is to get to the front of that goal, wait for Clunker to have his special weapon ready, and just go in with the bomb. Okay, Metalsec Anarchists are they are one round away from being on the great finals of Heavy Metal Machines. But who has the bomb right now? It's Sawyer with the Black Lotus. Trying to score for the South American team, trying to open, to create an open space there, but oh, that their devil's damage is massive. It's very hard for Sawyer to keep himself alive. anti with with the bomb again, he makes the pass and now Wankintosh is gonna transport it. Yeah, that's a tough spot right now that they're at. They're, the first round was very good actually for Humeros Bala. They got really close to the goal, but it seems that Metalsec Arnikis have gotten control of the game again and they're not giving Humeros Bala any breathing room. Yes, and there are only the two transporters alive for Bala, and one of them is the Antiseptic, is the Icebringer, but Icebringer is done. The Wildfire is there, the Stinger is there. And now Bala will try to intercept this bomb, but oh, what a jump from Winking Toss! Advancing on the enemy side and trying to score for the last and final time on the same final. Here goes Winking Toss, one more time! To the win! To the win! For the win! And oh my god, what a, what a moment to wait! And Daniel Pena waiting for the right moment. Uh, but Winking Toss has it again, uh, Antisept! Oh my god, and it... He is alive! Sawyer with the bomb, what a save! Yeah, Metalsec Arnicus <laughs> messed up a little bit up the delivery with Clunker's special weapon. That gave Sawyer another chance to try and get to Metalsec Arnicus side of the arena. We'll see if they'll get there alive though, Chancellor. It seems they're struggling already. Yeah, Sawyer with the bomb and he's done. So, uh, Wack Ben has it. He's trying to pass, waiting for Winking Toss and now it's a uh, su successful pass. Winking Toss with the bomb trying to advance. And he has his special weapon ready. And I also saw that Dirt Devil has his special weapon ready. That will be dangerous when all of Humero's ball is in front of the goal. Okay, Winking Toss one more time trying to score, waiting for the right moment. He was just still waiting, but Anti Septic is there. Metal Sect Anarchists, they are on the grand finals of the Metal League European Edition. Yeah, that was a very quick uh, <laughs> match actually. We, we really hoped actually that Homeo's Bala would be able to bring us to a third match between them because their Icebringer pick was great, but Metal Sect Anarchists is not wasting any time they're yes. here to win six minutes that was a great draft a great pick but unfortunately for the brazilian teams team the msa anarchists are, are very good even for the european team so with this latency they had no chance and the anarchists are on the final trying to uh compete for their second uh second championship in a row trying to get two banners and a metal c and the metal god arena um Entire decorated with their, yeah, their logo. Yeah, it's just it's gonna be how how do you call when they they'll be dominating that that entrance and you know everyone will have to look at yes. their at their banner if they win, Chancellor. If, if they, they win, win, yes, they have a good chance because they are on the finals. And yes, uh, and we know that it's, it's important very solid. to win. You have to go to the finals, and they are there. So yeah, it's a first an important yes. step. First step, it's a check. very important step. Okay, how it is the second semifinal? Do we have the the news about that uh i think we could we, we can now share the metal partners video uh we have this uh, partnership program with people who wants to stream and create videos for heavy metal machines and we ask them some of them to create a uh, quick video uh, calling people to join them and follow them on their channel so we asked for all our metal partners but only the brazilian ones have, had the answer let me add that that is also a great place for you to get spoilers because metal partners sometimes well they have been sharing some spoilers before we do actually. yes we are we are loading them with a lot of spoilers let's see if they are able to give to you the spoilers in first hand okay so let's watch the metal partners 
the Metal Partners inviting you to follow their channel. Salve, salve, galera! Aqui é o Spike. Gostaria de convidar a todos a acompanhar o meu canal na Mixer. É mixercom spike_jdi. O Spike é S P I K E. Então, bora lá pro meu canal. Vamos acompanhar as lives da HMM. Aquele abraço. Falou! Fala, galera. Sou ele aqui e estou prometendo fazer vários vídeos para vocês de gameplays e análise de jogos. Isso se vocês me seguirem lá com o seu Metal Partner favorito. Vou fazer os vídeos, hein? A não ser que eu esteja ocupado demais jogando ranked. Mas se tiver muita gente lá, eu faço lives e vou ao vivo. Melhor que vídeo, hein? Valeu, abraço! Olá, meus anjos do metal, aqui é a Rainha Kátia, eu convido vocês para conhecer um pouco mais sobre mim, sobre Heavy Metal Machines, em youtube.com.br Rainha Kátia e twitch.tv barra Rainha Kátia. Quem tá falando é o Steel Blame, se quiser ver umas gameplay de um nível mais ou menos, tá passando lá no meu canal, lá, rapaziada, lá na Twitch, valeu, bom Metal League. Fala galera, eu sou o Serrad e quero convidar você a acompanhar as lives de Heavy Metal Machines lá no meu canal, o canal é twitch.tv barra Serra de Mago. Eu espero você lá. Muito heavy metal e muita zoeira, viu? Vem comigo, tamo junto. Fala, galera. Eu sou o Chuminho, Demônio Azul das Estradas Ocultas de Heavy Metal Machine. E convido vocês a visitarem o meu canal para assistir o melhor Stingray de toda Metal City. E de quebra, guias, tutoriais e dicas de como se dá bem no mundo de Heavy Metal Machines em breve. Vejo vocês por aí, é nóis, valeu, falou, fui! Conheço o Crazy? Tá conhecendo agora, meu brother. Segue os vídeos lá. Então, tudo sobre Heavy Metal, mano. Vamos embora. Ok, so that was crazy, like we saw Sawyer, Steel Flames, uh, Rainha Kati, Shubin. Uh, what else? We, we, we saw Cerrado Mago yeah. and Spike. So the, the, these are the seven metal partners who uh, sent their video to us. So we are promoting their channel here. Yeah, it's actually the first time I saw some of those faces so up close. It's very nice to see that because as community managers, we deal with them like every week. And it's different when you, when you have a face because you can see your face, but we never see yours. Yes, I had no idea of how you guys are. I I only can see like in my in my uh, in my mind. I only can see the avatar. Yeah, exactly know, the avatar. Like we project so much of their personality into the avatar that we have no idea how they look like or how old they are. Right? Yes, Chester? how old? This is very important because Crazy Leg. I had no idea that he was so young. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, he didn't fall in the water. He said, okay, they're talking about Cerrado Mago, oh, because yeah. he has the water. Yeah, he had that very rainy forest uh, yeah. uh, background. And Sawyer said that he was, uh, he was he, he would uh, make videos from Heavy Metal Machines uh, only if he wasn't uh, playing ranked mode. So uh, considering that he right now is leading the ranked mode with the most points from the Heavy Metal, it seems that we're going to wait for, for him for a long time. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. This card is not working. <laughs> okay, yeah, we okay, got a next. Yeah. We got an extra message here. It's it's a, it's a, it's all about uh, getting emotional on this yeah. metal. Okay. <laughs> And but we do have the giveaway going on. Maybe we could get back to that giveaway. If you didn't participate in the giveaway yet, you can type sensacional in the chat for a chance to win a heavy metal model. Actually, can we finish the giveaway right now, Santos? Can we go back to that and see who the winner is? So let's wait another 30 seconds to see if anyone else wants to join. If you don't know how to type sensacional, uh Zantos can also teach you how to type sensacional yes. on the chat so follow what we will say sensacional there you go Serra do Mago taught you how to type sensacional in the chat uh so we'll just wait 10 more seconds and then we'll be finished with the giveaway and see who takes a heavy metal model home yes what 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 is your favorite heavy metal no, it, it was a metal legend. oh sorry sorry not yes. heavy metal metal legend what model. is your favorite metal legend model oh that is a tough question Chancellor. I think My favorite metal legend model is not yet available. Okay. Uh, my, my favorite is the 
uh, lightning hand, I think, the clunker model with the, the, oh, with the, the hand. hand. Oh, yeah, that one. That is my favorite. Great. Yeah, having a hand as clunker to pull people makes total sense. That is this, a great, good is, choice, Chancellor. Yeah. Good choice. Good one, Saruman. <laughs> okay. Um, and we are waiting for our Discord server to work because we lost connection, uh, lost um, uh, communication with the teams. So we are going to show the second match of the same final with the other two teams. Let's talk about them because we have right here uh, their names. So yeah, we don't need let's that. Let's get rid of those let's stats and let's get new yes. stats now on the table. We like reading stats to you. Okay, we have here the two teams. We have the Neon Knights and the Metal Sect Assembly. Very good teams uh, with a strong uh, performance so far, right? Yes, we have already seen Neon Knights also win uh, Metal League before, right, Chancellor? Neon Knights, yes, the first one. So yeah, we have the Neon Knights on the screen. Uh, most used team composition was Black Lotus, uh, Rampage, Stargazer, and Vulture. Uh, they have uh, the ing the they have the. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I lost what I was. Don't worry because. Chancellor is also streaming from South America, so Chancellor is also dealing with high latency, high latency. right now. So yeah. let's give him a few seconds yeah. for him to get back on track. No, but they got the second place four stages in a row, then they got the first place and then the third. Uh, 63 matches, uh, 75 matches and they won 63. So it's a win rate of 84%, right? Yeah, that's a very high uh, win rate too. Uh, Okay, no, this is one. This one is neons. Uh, so right now, we're in a bit, we'll get back to the giveaway, so you will know who won a Metal Legend model. Um, yeah, and and it's gonna be awesome because we we are planning the all those um, all those giveaways for the entire. Um, the entire oh my god I, I really don't know what to say right now but for the entire time that we are here we are planning those giveaways to uh give to you our audience uh rewards for watching this incredible metal league finals that we are dealing yeah right. and also don't forget that at the end of our live stream we'll also have a big announcement to make that we're really excited to make to you so not only will you get that but we have other giveaways planned to happen during this live stream so stay with us and let's really read that uh that neo knights uh, screen right now that we have on the because we might have those numbers decorated yes. by and them. now we have the ms assembly um they are the team who end up in the third place they got first the fourth the 60 the third 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 and the second they played 38 matches they won 26 uh, a win rate of 68.4%. Uh, Scratch, Biakudark, Numbers, Dream, and Devil Driver. Uh, most used team composition. So they have Black Lotus, Clunker, Killer J, and Stargazer. Yeah, you can clearly see how that composition works with Black Lotus and Stargazer working together. And then you have Clunker and Killer J, uh, two interceptors very strong at. Uh, crowd control so they can drop the bomb and they don't really have to worry about dealing damage in case they just push the enemy's transporter through a blocker or into the dropper yes and uh, people are talking about the dream name I, we know that is death but you know dream yeah. has this new identity and yes, really he's like, always changing i, I his really name. like that that nickname of dream i rather call dream Dream instead of death, although we have been calling de uh, Dream death for so long. Yes, you're right. Uh, they are 201 on the first game at this moment. So, right now, it's a very hard match on the other side. We are waiting for them um, to finish it. And uh, yeah, I, I really wish we could just jump into that match, you know, to keep watching because it seems to be a very uh, balanced match actually. Because, you know, one team scored two, the other one, if they score again, it might take uh, us even longer for us to get to their game. And we might be talking here for a while, Chancellor. Forever, so we, actually. You know, maybe we, someone could help us. What should we talk about, Chancellor? I really don't know. Let's we, talk about the weather. Let's talk about the weather. <laughs> what do you think about the weather? I think it's too sunny for my taste. It's too sunny. Well, I really like the lightning in the room we're at right now. And the temperature is great. Worldwide. This yes. 
Discord problem. Yes, okay, we are handling with Discord problem, but we we had from the ESL guys the information that our two the game are two one right now, and we are waiting for the end of this game to show the next one, right? Um, death is that dream of dream, and. This is the, the yes. We are gonna yeah. Let let's let's handle this properly and let's give a to, to the community a very good spoiler of what's coming for the next season. Great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. So we. I'm Stingray, and this is Artificer, the old world scientist. Artificer is one of the oldest people in the world of heavy metal machines, if not the oldest. She was born even before the apocalypse and dedicated her entire career to science and technology. After the metal dominated the new world, Artificer was perceived as a crazy hag and was persecuted by the sect of metal. Artificer's specialty is repairing. Her vast amount of knowledge allowed her to develop a machine capable of repairing allies and disrupting enemies with pure technology. Artificer's passive weapon is Metallic Bond. This passive ability ensures that everyone around her gets repaired. Artificer automatically connects to other machines to support short and mid-range distance allies. Artificer's weapon one is Ride the Lightning. Due to her amazing technological capacity, Artificer shoots an electric projectile that deals damage to enemies and repairs allies. Artificer's weapon two is Thunderstruck. To get rid of enemies who attack her from a short distance, Artificer casts a thunderstorm that damages and pushes enemies around her while repairing allies. Artificer's weapon three is Electric Engine. This weapon concentrates the power of her electric engine to gain speed and flee from risky situations. This is super useful since Artificer's HP is pretty small compared to most machines. Finally, Artificer's special weapon is Thunderdome. 
After charging the machine to its maximum power, the scientist generates a dome of static energy around her, capable of protecting allies inside and repelling enemies outside. This ability can be used in tons of strategic ways, such as creating an opening through enemies to score a point. That's all for Artificer's Machine Spotlight. And she is already available in Heavy Metal Machines. Play now! This is Wildfire, the Pyromaniac. There are those who seek to make the world a safer place. Others who just want to watch the world burn. Wildfire falls into the second category. Raised by the famous scientist artificer, Wildfire learned how to work with machines from a young age. She then decided to build a car and join the arenas of Metal City. Wildfire uses her great power of destruction to light up the arenas. Her flamethrower guarantees that the enemies get hit, being either close or far from the hot rod, her machine. Wildfire's passive weapon is called In Flames. Every time when she hits the enemies, they remain burning for a while, dealing with the pain from the fire. Wildfire's weapon one is the Flaming Spear. This is a long range weapon. Wildfire shoots a fireball that can even destroy enemies who are fleeing from combat. Wildfire's weapon 2 is the Blast of Fire. It causes an explosion around the vehicle that keeps burning the enemies for a while. Wildfire's weapon 3 is the Volcanic Road. With the wheels ablaze, Wildfire is boosted forward, leaving a trace of fire on the floor that burns the enemies who drive over it. Wildfire's special weapon is Hellfire. Wildfire concentrates her power of fire literally and causes a massive explosion around the vehicle, obliterating the nearby enemies in flames. This was Wildfire's Machine Spotlight, and she is already available on Heavy Metal Machines. Play now!
right here. Welcome to the Machine Spotlight, featuring yours truly, Stingray, the underdog. Rebellious and ambitious to free Metal City from the sect of metal, I was arrested and doomed to the arenas. However, I survived and thrived within the combat, and now I lead a group towards freedom from tyranny, always broadcasting my battles live. Not trying to brag, but my machine can deliver massive bursts of damage in the chaos of the arena. Its numerous laser beams, fired in various directions, can easily eradicate nearby or distant enemies in a short amount of time. My weapon one is Discs of Doom. My machine discharges three laser discs that can hit multiple enemies. This weapon has a low cooldown, dealing hefty damage if all the projectiles hit one single opponent. My weapon two is Power Wave. A powerful wave of lasers releases from the front of my machine. Power Wave has short range yet extreme damage. It can also hit multiple enemies. My weapon three is Power Slide. This weapon transfers my laser generator's energy to the rear and launches my machine forward at high speed, damaging enemies by ramming into them. Finally, my special weapon is Ultra Final Blaster. To use this ultimate attack, I concentrate all energy to the front and discharge a devastating laser beam. If you're fighting against the Rebel and see me activate my special weapon, better get out of my way! This powerful machine can obliterate any enemy that stands in my way. This was Stingray's Machine Spotlight and I'm already available in Heavy Metal Machines. Play now!
Once upon a time in the Rockalot Kingdom, men have been fighting against creatures for many years. But along with the Gadgeteer, Peacemaker, and the Two-Headed Ogre, they were determined to put an end to the Age of Knights. Perceiving the cry for battle, the heroes, Mourning Paladin and Avenging Knight, came to fight for the kingdom. They shouted, Wicked monsters, turn back to your dark forests and caves. You shall not end the rightful reign. The battle began, and the knights were counting on the wizard wreath crafter's help. This can't be! But then the peacemaker remembered. Dirt Devil foretold that they might get a much more powerful weapon after stealing that treasure. So he shouted, Behold the power of a dragon! And now, who will win this war? Dark and evil times are coming. Things were not peaceful in the Rockalot Kingdom, but they were used to war. All according to plan, the Herald said, remembering when he was deposed as king. But now, he had found the source of a dark power that would make him great again, the Metaphobia. He raised his hand to the sky. The ring sent out a purple light as he called forth the storm. <laughs> Twisted and dark mockeries of the heroes from both sides began to take shape. A dirt demon appeared in a red vehicle with a pitchfork. Giant hands of demon lords reached out through portals, snatching ogres and knights. The vampire rode in a red and purple machine, the twisted reflection of a knight of the light. A trail of bats followed in her wake. The herald smiled. Soon, both knights and monsters would bend the knee to him, and he would rule once more. But really, would he? Metal Herald has raised hell in the Rockalot Kingdom. As the demons descended, monsters and knights had to fight side by side. Seeing all the chaos, Wreathcrafter cried out for Dirt Devil's aid. Only the two of them together could break the Metalophobia spell. He nodded. Let's kick some dirt! So she extended her hand and spoke a word of power. Sing Zoot! A golden book appeared, and she began her ritual. The battle waged on, yet even as their vehicles killed demon after demon, the tide seemed never-ending. Finally, the wreath crafter said, It is finished, and the dark reflections started turning into mist. Oh, my faith is leaving me. <coughs> Faith is ignorance. Herald's spell had been broken. So Peacemaker proclaimed, We know now who was behind the war. We won't fight each other anymore. Let's celebrate. To friendship between monsters and knights. Cheers! Yahoo!
Hey there, I'm Stingray, and this is Artificer, the old world scientist. Artificer is one of the oldest people in the world of heavy metal machines, if not the oldest. She was born even before the apocalypse and dedicated her entire career to science and technology. After the metal dominated the new world, Artificer was perceived as a crazy hag and was persecuted by the sect of metal. Artificer's specialty is repairing. Her vast amount of knowledge allowed her to develop a machine capable of repairing allies and disrupting enemies with pure technology. Artificer's passive weapon is Metallic Bond. This passive ability ensures that everyone around her gets repaired. Artificer automatically connects to other machines to support short and mid-range distance allies. Artificer's weapon one is Ride the Lightning. Due to her amazing technological capacity, Artificer shoots an electric projectile that deals damage to enemies and repairs allies. Artificer's weapon two is Thunderstruck. To get rid of enemies who attack her from a short distance, Artificer casts a thunderstorm that damages and pushes enemies around her while repairing allies. Artificer's weapon three is Electric Engine. This weapon concentrates the power of her electric engine to gain speed and flee from risky situations. This is super useful since Artificer's HP is pretty small compared to most machines. Finally, Artificer's special weapon is Thunderdome. After charging the machine to its maximum power, the scientist generates a dome of static energy around her, capable of protecting allies inside and repelling enemies outside. This ability can be used in tons of strategic ways, such as creating an opening through enemies to score a point. That's all for Artificer's Machine Spotlight. And she is already available in Heavy Metal Machines. Play now! Hello everyone, I'm sorry for what happened. Discord went down. I don't know what happened with Discord, like never happened. In the middle of the Metal League, we lost the entire communication with all the teams, the entire, uh, we haven't, we, we were trying to figure out a way to talk to everyone, ESL, the teams, and now we finally made something, we figured out a way. And now we have the, the draft from the second match of the other semifinal going on, so we're going right to that, okay? So uh, this is what happened. Our chipster was 
Uh, ban Force, the team one is a metal it's... sector assembly now because and the team two is Neonite. So our Chiefster was banned by assembly, Stargazer was banned by Neonite. So now we have two supports being banned. This yes, is... two supports out of the table, the two supports that we see all teams use the most, I guess. Let's see how much they pick. Stargazer is the most picked support from Neonites. And for Metal Sect Assembly, Stargazer is the third most uh, picked uh, pilot. And uh, the most picked support as well. Yeah. So, uh, first pick for Assembly is Vulture. The, the two other picks for Neonites is Rampage and Black Lotus. So now Assembly with the Killer J uh, has picked and now they're going to pick their third pilot on this match. While, while this is happening, Janos from Neonites is having some technical issues. We are handling that. We are solving this problem right now. And after he, he finish, we finish that, he'll be able to connect. So we're getting some time with this uh, draft. Uh, Peacemaker, and, and, and the, the other pick from uh, Assembly, so they have three interceptors. Yeah, I want to say that Neon Knights right now is at a very comfortable spot because Rampage and Black Lotus are their most picked pilots. Black Lotus has been picked 75 times and they won 63 of those. That's a, an 84% uh, win rate and Rampage was picked 54 times and won 46. That's an 85% win rate for those picks for Neon Knights. That's a very comfortable spot for them, Chancellor. Yes, and now they have 12 seconds, now 10 to decide what's going to be their next pick. They only have Rampage and Black Lotus, and it's their devil. So yeah, they have two good interceptors and one good transporter. Let's see who's going to be the final pick from the Neon from the Metal Sect Assembly, because right now they don't have a transporter. I feel like they could try to use photo Ton transporting or even a uh, little monster according to uh, to who's gonna play it yeah out of the pilots available for them right now clunker is the most picked and one they have a decent win rate with clunker so maybe we'll see a clunker if they want to have extra crowd control rampage already brings that to the table so they might not need that i want to see how they will adapt but I want to say the Metal Sect Assembly is not in a comfortable spot right now because Black Lotus is one of their most picked uh, transporters. And then after that comes Little Monster only with, with eight picks along all the championship. So they might be... Let's see how Metal Sect Assembly will adapt to not having their favorite transporter, Chancellor. And also with both supports off the table, that really changes the whole... Clunker. So it's a clunker. Yeah, so... Full interceptors. Full interceptors. That is right. Yes. Uh, and that also takes clunker off the table for Neonites. So maybe they'll pick a wildfire sting... Okay, stingray. Stingray. Okay, yes. It's an interceptor. The first match was 3-1. I believe it was 3-1-4. Assembly or Neonites? I really don't know the this information right now. Uh, Santos is checking here right now, so we don't know who who won the first one. If no, three, one. three one for which team? For Assembly? Okay, so now Neonites has the duty to... And this is kind of a revenge from the first European Finals. Remember? That is it was true. Neon against Assembly. We had the third match. And Neonite won that one. Yeah, let's see. I bet I'm guessing that Dream will be playing that Vulture. We might see uh, Vulture and Killer J alternating between who's gonna uh, transport the bomb. We might see Clunker doing that sometimes, but I'm guessing Clunker will be more focused on taking people off. We know that from playing uh, live streams with us, we know that Dream likes to get the bomb with a Vulture going backwards, throwing blades. That is an annoying thing to deal with, but. Uh, Neonites have their Rampage, that is a strong pick. They will be the first ones to the bomb. If Peacemaker misses that weapon too, we'll see who gets it first. But I believe that uh, uh, Neonites will have the advantage here on picking the bomb first. Uh, Metal Sect Assembly although have Killer J and Clunker. Those are great uh, interceptors to drop the bomb. So let's see how long uh, Neon Knights will be able to hold on to that uh, and if Rampage, Dirt Devil and Stingray for them will be able to 
clean uh, metal sector assemblies team before they can do anything. Yes, and it's very important for both teams to have good uh, call, uh, good patient right now because what happened is that Discord died for the entire world <laughs> and we were in the middle of the metal league so we lost a lot of things. We are trying to talk to all the, the players and organize this tournament and make the transmission, the broadcast goes on, but Genos is having some technical issues and we are fixing it right now in this moment that I'm speaking. So yeah, a lot of unpredictable events happen on this uh, Metal League edition, but we are here ready to solve everything. Yeah, you know what else we're ready to solve, Chancellor? What? We never got back to that giveaway, did we? To the giveaway, that's right. So we could go back to that giveaway and, you know, see who will take their Metal Legend uh, model home. Now that you have seen the promo for the next season of the Metal Pass, Dawn of Winter, you have seen my new favorite Metal Legend model, yes. which is the one for Little Monster. That is an amazing model uh, with those ice spikes and all that. I really love that theme and how... Well, actually, I'm not going to say anything. I was yes. about to bring more spoilers. So, okay, Santos, please, let's roll. Let's see who gets the metal legend model from our giveaway yeah and inside said that by the way new winter winter skins look so deadly good job so yeah yeah and the scratch has won the giveaway scratch won. yay congratulations okay scratch. congratulations scratch the captain from metal sector assembly <laughs> yeah so here you go you get like a sensational extra, sensational just remember metal legend model you can take home it's Obviously not from the next season. You can pick any of the Metal Legends up until now, but the ones for the next season will only be available after the season is out. Okay, and what do you think about this next match? Neo Knights has to win to have a chance to compete on the Grand Finals. Yeah, I'm really um, eager to see that match. Uh, there, there will not be a Brazilian team this time in the match, so we will see two teams fighting at least with the same latency. They will be uh, more uh, at ease with that, but they are two very good teams too. The compositions they picked, you can see that, the, you know, they were picking at each other to take things off the table, but still, I see that Neon Knights has uh, more um, familiar grounds to play with, with their Black Lotus and Rampage, yes, which especially are... especially Executor with the Black Lotus, he's deadly and he's very patient. Very patient, yes. Executor is known for only going forward when he knows he can deliver that bomb. He will not uh, take any chances of losing possession of the bomb. Let's see how well they will execute that. Execute. Execute. Okay, yeah, I, I, guess, I, I guess he's. Yes, yeah. I got it. Okay, let me know in the comments for who you're cheering for. Hashtag Neon, hashtag MSA. Uh, this is the second game of the other semifinal. Then we're gonna have the third place game between Humerus Bala and the loser of this uh, of this, this semifinal in this game. And then the great final with MS Honor Kiss and the winner of this game. Yeah, I already see some hashtags MSA. No hashtags for Neonites. Do is no one cheering for Neonites on our Twitch channel. They might be too busy, you know, maybe discussing something else. They are probably they are. Uh, trying to communicate with themselves because they don't have the Discord to talk, you know? This yeah. is what I, okay, now I have a hashtag this Neon. This full screen is cheering for Neon, And okay. T-Bone, okay, now they And T-Bone, okay. The, yeah, they are helping. Oh, Miss Full Screen is actually cheering for both. Okay, Miss Full Screen, we see what you're she, doing. Yeah, she is. We this, see this, what you're doing. She's just that. I cheer for everybody, okay. Um, I guess Miss Full Screen is cheering for a great game like we are. We are also but cheering for a But what do you think game. about the miscommunication problem? Like since we don't have Discord right now because of the global problem with the platform, uh, this can affect the gameplay of the teams if they are not able to talk to each other uh, in real life with their voices. Like uh, is this a big problem that can change the, the, the fate of this tournament? Well, I think both teams have had sometimes uh, some time now to kind of get around that and find probably find somewhere else to talk but both teams then maybe won't have communication and they have been playing together for a long time too chancellor they might know how to get around but of course having communication being able to communicate with your team and you know think of a strategy while the match is happening is very important but 
maybe both teams will get around Discord as Discord is not the only uh, platform, platform that enables yeah, they have that. TeamSpeak, Skype, and yeah, exactly so many options, thousand of options. I hope they can turn these around. They can overcome the situation and really bring the best have Metal Machines game yeah, possible. That I, I also hope that because I would love to have Discord back too. You know, it would be great for us. It'll be so <laughs> great for us. Yes, I, I got you. It's on this moment right now. Santos is showing his most concerned face possible, <laughs> and yeah, it things are not good here. But he, he always has this pretty smile on his face and, and show, show us that smile. Show that smile. Come on, we want to see that smile. Oh, look at that. Smile. Okay, that's you can't smile. see it, but we can see it. Yes, Maybe we can so. see, and we are we are the we are. The, um, witnesses of, of the smile. Of well, the smile. Maybe if you have, you know, that CSI technology to zoom in into our eyes and see the reflection of Xantos's smile, then, you know, this so CSI. Yeah, I would just stop with that. Yes. that. That was not a good joke. Okay, let's talk about the general stats of this metal league. So <laughs> do you want to know what is the average match duration of this metal league is eight do. minutes and 18 seconds. So it's quite uh, smaller. Then shorter the, than the, the, the previous metal leagues. Mm -hmm. uh, usually we have something around nine and eleven. Now we have eight, eight. almost seven. Yeah, the matches are, are shorter. Uh, also, we have the the most picked pilots from each role. So on the transporters, we have Black Lotus, Little Monster, Ice Bringer, and Full Metal Judge. This is the order. On supports, we have Stargazer, Wind Rider, Metal Herald, Archivester, and Photon. So the five sports and talking about the interceptors it's rampage killer j dirt devil wildfire vulture clunker stingray and peacemaker in the last position is that also a well, peacemaker actually i'm surprised with what i'm seeing actually because peacemaker has a very low win rate chance for yes 44 picks 12 victories 12 victories that's a 27 percent win rate for peacemaker i was not aware of that i'm very surprised with it Yes, and Daniel Payne saying that Discord is died for good. Uh, Saros really love our style. We should present, announce tomorrow the college league. And I think we, we solve it. Yeah, I think we solve it. We need to, to win all the games that was happening in the server. Oh, okay. that's so awesome. So everybody needs to restart the game. What we are everyone needs to everybody is awesome no everybody no i'm just kidding everyone who was playing heavy metal machines have to restart their game right now yeah we're we're already sending our apologies let's send yes. our live apologies it's for this everyone will have to do that but right now metal league is our top priority we really want to get this match going and see who will be the grand grand winner of this this yes. this championship Everybody, <laughs> yeah, rock your body, yeah, everybody. Okay, everyone is singing right now. This was the singing moment of the Metal League Finals. Yeah, Miss Fools, I know Miss Fools Free is back to you on the studios, Chancellor. Okay, I'm in the studio right now and I just <laughs> talked to myself. So. <laughs> What 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 what, whoa, what am whoa, I gonna whoa. do? What am I gonna do? You know, <laughs> I work with this guy. I just have to put yes, up with this you stuff. you have to, to support me. Uh, okay, players are uh, restarting the game right now and going back to have a machines. Please create the create the, the custom, the game. custom game. Yes, who's who's gonna create now? It's Scratch, I believe. From the metal sector assembly so he's creating the custom game we're going to the custom game we're going to be able to see how many players are left in, are, are left to uh start this match um uh, what is going on hashtag go msa hashtag go neon say your uh, help you support your your team show uh, who is your fan of I'm just eager to see the match. You know, I want to see what's going to happen with those compositions because we have analyzed it over and over again. And we already went through so many stats that I'm just very anxious to see what's going to happen. Okay. MSA Civil War for finals. It's going to be 
awesome if we have two MSAs, two MSAs fighting yes. in the finals, right? Yeah, then we can say that we're cheering for MSA too. Yeah, and people were are waiting for, are, are missing your Pokeball. My Pokeball, yes. My Pokeball right now is at home, resting. It has been used way too much. And it is a sad Pokeball because it did not catch any Pokemon so far. So, you know, I'm just giving it some time and to, to think about itself. Okay, if he hasn't... Uh, yeah, we have to, to wait for what's going on right now. So many things that we wanted to happen and they did not go as planned, but especially yes. having Discord uh, offline really broke our legs, I guess we can say, because Discord is the interface we use to talk with ESL, to talk with the players and, you know, have all the communication and having that broken. Actually, that really taught us a lesson too, right, Chancellor? Yes, a very important lesson that is, oh my God, what just happened here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And we're also practicing how to, you know, keep a conversation going and never stop talking because we're live and we need to keep the conversation going. Yes, and this quarter is dead after so many years without a problem. Yeah, that was... I, I, I really... Uh, this quarter is not dead, you know? It's kind of like my Pokeball. It also needs some time to rest, I guess. But this quarter is not dead. I, 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 I bet that you're in a... Uh, even worse situation, worse than, situation we than we are. Yes, right. probably. Yeah, and we are waiting for what's going on here. Uh, Santos is helping us with the with the the teams. Now we're going to join the custom game, I believe. And yeah, it's going to be. So the match that we're gonna see is on the screen right now. So that is on team one is Metal Sack Assembly playing Vulture, Killer J, Peacemaker, and Clunker. A match only with interceptors, lots of crowd control and damage, but no transporter or support. And team two is Neon Knights with Rampage, Black Lotus, Dirt Devil, and Stingray. A uh, very uh, balanced composition too. Although they don't have a support, we have seen many matches and in the meta right now where uh, teams will pick a Black Lotus as transporter and then focus the rest of the spots in the team on damage. And Stingray and Dirt Devil will obviously focus on damage, that's what they do best, but Rampage can also drop the bomb with his uh, weapon 3, the dash. Yes, uh, we are joining the custom game but they are not... Uh, we are not able to... We're not able to check yet because Janus is waiting to play. We don't know exactly what happened. Uh, we're, we're, we're waiting for the, the best solution of this situation, but it's, it seems that it's something is wrong with the, the server side of our game and we are working on that. We have devs here. They are working on that right now uh, behind us, behind the scenes. So, yeah, we have to wait for, for them to solve this. And, yeah, it seems that we're, we're getting onto it. Blackstar, do, can, do we have any updates if this is going to happen or...? Um, it's going to happen. Yay, it's going to happen. I don't know where. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think we can... Uh, watch one more time for the last time i hope the metal pass promo of the next season right and then we go back when we have news about what happened and how we can fix this problem to finally have this match of the semifinals okay
okay, I was I wasn't ready for that. Sorry. Oh my god, Black Star, thank you for that. Uh, finally, we have the players ready to play. We are eager to see this match. This game is gonna be awesome. Please, let's start to the match. Let's go in right to the match. Uh, the Discord apparently got come back. Uh, yeah. Discord might have come back. It surely didn't get back my trust yet. So my we will we'll sure have not. to wait a bit for us to trust some Discord again on this matter. But I'm really eager to get to the match. We will be there in a few minutes, I believe. And yes. we can start the match. We can start the match, please. Yay! Oh, finally. I'm so happy that we're going to start this match. Uh, as you guys can see on the screen, you have the, the both teams there ready to play. Okay, this, this is a good sign, right? So, yes, so far is. we were able to show only two matches, you know, very quick matches, but we are here so far because we are waiting for the other semifinal. Two, yes. Okay. Now it's time for the other semifinal Metal God Arena. Let's start it. Numbers, it's on you. And people were cheering there. Hashtag go MSA, hashtag go neon. Oh, we have go neon too. Do we have hashtag go neon? Uh, yeah. I, I, I have seen some hashtag go MSA, but I didn't see. Well, apart from Miss Full Screen cheering for both teams but oh, there you go <laughs> miss full screen is cheering for neon okay okay and anytime now we'll get the match started and we'll finally see how that will play out and which composition will be best executed by each team uh soon we'll get to think of another giveaway actually Chancellor. yes we're surely doing another giveaway what this kind of giveaway stream. do you have in mind i have the giveaway in mind um i think like We'll, we'll think of a prize and then people will join the giveaway and then someone will get the randomly get the prize. How does that sound for you? It sounds okay. It sounds okay. Yeah, it sounds okay to me. I just described how a giveaway works, but we'll think of a prize. We'll think of a nice prize. What would you like to win? Actually, we might if we think it's a good idea, then we might go with the, what you suggest on the chat that what should be the prize of our next giveaway. Already. Okay, they're ready. No. Oh, they're waiting for Devil Driver now. Okay. Okay. I don't know so what happened. So we might not get going just yet. Killer J flip flops. <laughs> Killer J flip flops. I think Grill Paint has been trying to get Killer J flip flops for a while now. I remember Grill Paint asking me for those flip flops a Pain. while back. Didn't you, uh, Grill Paint? You give away. Peña said that Neon won the first match by 3-1. I thought it was MSA, right? Can we confirm that, who won the first match of this game? Okay, yeah, Devil Driver is back. So now we are ready to start. Oh my god, I can't believe that I'm seeing that. For the fourth time now, yeah! Okay, it's gonna be awesome. I believe that this is gonna be the best Metal League ever with the most epic plays. And also two fun facts about those teams. Neonite is a lot more focused in damage. Damage gameplay as their most used composition is Black Lotus and Stargazer, which is, you know, standard for them and Rampage and Vulture, which both are really good at dealing damage, but Metal Sect Assembly uses also Black Lotus and Stargazer, but their most used uh, interceptors are Clunker and Killer J, which are not really damage focused and are more control focused. So we'll see which one gets the best. We have already seen that in a past Metal League and MSA did not come out on top, right, Chancellor? We saw Neonites on top, so maybe this uh, this time it will play out differently. Actually, uh, Ricky Like is talking to us about what a Fugu, or a great uh, and fun moment from the recaps that we do for every uh, Metal League stage, and we might have lots of what the Fugu moments for this playoff, the playoffs of today. 
and it might include us, uh, Chancellor. I think we might be in the Wata Fugu too. I can think of many fun moments of Do us you this think? evening. Yeah. <laughs> okay. MSA did win. Huh? MSA did win. MSA did win. So it's MSA who won the first uh, match, not Neon. So MSA have to uh, Neon has to win right now in order to have a chance and give leave this game to the to the second. Uh, to the third game, right? Yeah, then we'll see if we, we are hoping for a fun match and a balanced match, of course. We want to see some good plays going on and the most uh, intense it gets. And if we do get to a third match, then, you know, everyone will be on, uh, um, how do you call, on the edge to on see edge. Yeah, how, how it will play out. Yeah, so MSA, oh, Ricky Like is really cheering for MSA. He's saying M from Mary, S from Frog, <laughs> and A from Anna. Would that be a Srog? <laughs> M S for Frog? Yeah, but in Portuguese, it's Frog is spelled Sapo. That makes sense. Yeah, you know that, you're Brazilian. Thank you. Okay, so we are ready for the... We are ready for the match. Let's focus on the bomb. And the green lights is coming to Metal City. We are ready to see them rock and rolling. So, okay, someone paused the game, of course. I just don't know what happened. Yeah! I was so Eggman eager to see that. Had a problem. I wonder if that's part of the strategy, you know, Chancellor. You know, getting everyone like really anxious and nervous and maybe even tired that, you know, it, it certainly will affect uh, how the teams will perf perform. Yes. This, yeah. Miss Fullscreen is using a famous uh, Brazilian expression with, which is like we have to laugh to not cry. Uh, which is like to try to be like the most positive about the situation because, you know, we keep trying to entertain you, but deep inside right now me and chancellor are crying and yes, of we course not crying. we're not gonna cry uh, live here <laughs> right chancellor okay no 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 i i want to propose a giveaway so the pro oh okay ingman is back the giveaway is everyone starts to type the word positive vibrations <laughs> in our <laughs> chat chancellor that's two words okay so just <laughs> positive yeah, I guess, yeah, we, we have to pick Send one. positive words for us, so it's gonna, yeah. Let's do it. So if Ingman is back, let's start again this match, please. Positive vibration. <laughs> okay, thank you. What is gonna be the, the prize? The prize? We have to think of a, a prize that goes along with this moment. Maybe like... Uh, a spray or V effect that you know really shows us like the feeling that we have right now with this great weight that is this match you know so maybe a spray that really represents what we're feeling right now they're coming back. maybe okay. not and they're coming back to the game let's focus on that then we decide a prize well, actually what is the prize think about that yeah, we're going to think about Not the prize and a, yeah. we'll get back to you on that later because right now I want to watch this match. Okay, here goes Scratch with the Killer J. So finally we are seeing some action on this live stream with the Metal Sect Assembly. Scratch with the Killer J trying to carry the bomb but he was murdered by the Rampage. Murdered? Yes, Rampage in a rage day murdered the... Killer J from the enemy's team, Scratch. So Executor now has the bomb and he's going to, uh, he's trying to get the bomb out of his defensive field. Uh, while this Dream is using his Vulture to attack the enemy. And yeah, it seems like Dream is all about focusing on this Executor. Uh, this yeah, executor. and we know how annoying Dream can get with that Vulture and I have already seen him use his signature move of going backwards and throwing those blades, you know, just like get off of me because I'm backing away with my motorcycle. Okay, here comes Big Shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
What a kill! Everyone is dead but the Rampage! Oh my god, that was very, very cool. Yeah, as I have said before, uh, Neonites are very more focused on damage than um, MSA is, so we kind of see a lot of control coming from, like, of the arena from Neonites. Yeah. And let's see how the crowd control focused team from MSA will play. Although they have a Vulture and a Peacemaker, so never mind. Yeah, so Killer J is there trying to intercept the Black Lotus from the enemy's team. Executor is almost dead. Uh, now he's trying to recover himself, but he doesn't have uh, uh, um, support on his side. So it's going to be a tough match for that Lotus. Executor is still there, almost dying, and now Ripples got a bomb with the Rampage. Devil Driver tried to use, okay, Devil Driver was able to use the Hawk. And now Ingman with the um, uh, Daredevil is trying to transport the bomb anyway for the Neo Knights. And now he killed uh, the Clunker. And it's three against two on this match. Ingman one more time with the killer, with the um, Daredevil trying to avoid the enemies. The, he has the, the help from that Stingray trying to find the best moment. And Death Dream actually is. Using his special weapon it was not that effective, but it's a, um, a Vulture in the beginning of the match, so he's not that strong yet. Executor got the bomb, uh, successful pass. Uh, Executor now it's going to use, oh my god, that was a good dodge. Trying to find some space, he has the, the, the Nirvana, it's Nirvana? Yeah, The Nirvana. special weapon, ready to use at any time. Numbers are there trying to hit him, uh, and uh, and two members of the Neon Knights are in front of their goal trying to open some space. So here goes Executor. One, two, three, and the score! And you know, the, the shark just came out to celebrate the score because it already happened, and you see the shark like, wee, jump in there. Okay, Dirt Devil is scoring this match, so it's 1 0. And maybe Neon can tie this game and force the third match on the semi-final. Yes, we are still in the semi-final of this uh, Metal League Finals. Okay, so uh, the bomb is in the middle of the arena. The first bomb possessions go to Rip Hills. Okay, Devil Driver hooked the bomb, but he just uh, tossed it to the Rip Hills playing Rampage and um, yeah, it, it seems like the MSA is not having a good time right now facing those uh, that damage. Repeals with the bomb, ready to make the pass. So now he's trying to avoid Scratch playing the Killer J. So good pass. It was a very good pass. Scratch died. Uh, Executor is carrying the bomb. There goes the Clunker waiting for the right time to use the, the Hawk. The Clunker is almost dead. And the Clunker has just respawned to this game, so this is not a good sign for the MSA team. Executor one more time, reflecting damage, but he's still with low life, waiting for the right moment, getting some protection out of combat. Uh, regen, now he's almost dead, and Wind Rider, boop, Wind Rider got the, the, um, the kill with the Stingray, so Devil Driver is waiting for the right moment to let someone carry, and it's gonna be Dream, so Dream is carrying the bomb right now with the Vulture, okay, Dream uh, waiting for the right moment, waiting for his teammates to come, uh, remember, the MSA doesn't have a transporter, so they have four interceptors and they're trying to transport the bomb with these compositions, so Dream is going, uh, with the Vulture in the middle of the arena now advancing on the enemy's field waiting for the proper time and yeah people in the chat are not happy with this composition from the MSA I think, yeah uh, Rick is saying positivo, negativo and affirmativo in our comments uh, remember there's a giveaway and who's gonna take this bomb it's okay it's executor one more time for the Neo Knight so we are seeing Neonites with a lot of time and patience. 
They have the advantage on the scoreboard right now, and they have Executor carrying it for them. And they also have the pressure of having to win this match, actually, Chancellor, but NSA, even though people are saying they have a bad composition, they're still able to hold Neon back because it's a lot of damage that they have that Neon has to deal with from Metal Sack Assembly. But although uh, they also are not able to stay alive for long, and I want to uh, call out that Repulse that, that Rampage is doing a great job because he's kind of able to shield uh, Black Lotus a lot. If you see that when uh, Executor is advancing with his Black Lotus. Repost is always around trying to shield and get the weight clear. He goes backwards, uses his weapon too to really hit that damage and get people uh, out of the way for Black Lotus to advance. Can we check the damage table to see how both teams are, are doing? So there you go, Repost is 10,600 damage. That's a lot more yes. than the rest of the team and the rest of the match actually we see that dream is not really able to deal a lot of damage with vulture right now so repost has the lead yes executor is carrying the bomb and we can see that not only uh it's like it's something that all teams uh, are all players are having problem to overcome overpass this uh, rampage because he's really dealing so much damage that it's impressive. Even the Daredevil and the Stingray are having hard times to to reach these amount of damage. Executor with the bomb, waiting for the right moment, trying to dodge the stacks from Vulture. Um, he's trying to pass. Okay, something happened. The bomb uh, passed through the barriers. So now Executor. That is, is a naughty bomb. You cannot go through that blocker. Yes, please, bomb. Don't do that anymore. So now Executor got the bomb back, and what? That was incredible. That was a double kill from Bot Wind Rider with the uh, Boop Wind Rider with the Stingray. And yes, we are waiting for the right and proper model. Yeah, and we know that Neonites are known, like their signature uh, strategy is to be very patient before the advance with the bomb. I guess playing against the metal set assembly composition is kind of hard to have patience because it is a lot of damage that you have to deal with constantly on top of you. Yes, now Scratch has the bomb and he's trying to advance. Dream is there helping them. Uh, the Stingray was born again trying to cause some damage. Scratch is there ready to, to avoid that amount of damage. It's not an easy life for that Stingray. Yeah, for that Killer J he made a pass. Now it's numbers with the Peacemaker trying to carry and MSA has these huge um, hard times to, to advance with the bomb and... Peacemaker has his special weapon, Chancellor. He could, you know, block an entire road to guarantee they're going forward in the next stretch. There you go. Oh, okay, but he was... Yeah, that was yeah, not a good news. That was not. The Black, Black Lotus were spawned just on top of him. So, yeah. And that, that Dream is dead. So Executor has the bomb and only two players left on the MSA roster right now. Yeah, let's see how this will play out. Actually, this is looking pretty balanced. Both teams are having a hard time passing the second curve with Lava. So we might... Are, are they going to be able to get out of here? The first team to actually get ahead of the other, you know, thinking... Oh, oh that was a very good... Uh, use of weapon two and scratch was able to get the bomb so yeah this is gonna be uh, oh no 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 what a special weapon from rip hill side it was incredible yeah that was very well timed actually but it, for a moment there it seemed that he would miss it but you know scratch just walked into that smashing shovel of blade of rampage yeah so clunker is there trying to uh to intercept this bomb, uh, Executor went all the way back to kill that Peacemaker, so Neonize is waiting patiently for the proper moment to advance one more time, waiting for the right moment, here goes Executor, uh, Devil Driver missed the hook, so now I have to wait for Executor to uh, advance, the Clunker is there trying to kill Devil Driver, uh, wind Rider is, it's not a Wind Rider, but Boop is always, uh, is always, is almost Ready. dying. Yes, oh. he's, and the Rampage. 
you can really see how it holds Neon's advance in the arena when Peacemaker is there. Whenever Peacemaker is back, let's see if Executor will be able to advance now. Where is Killer J? Killer J is coming back. Might be waiting for, yes, auto repair. And, ooh, oh, yes. Oh, that was a very good use of weapon one from Scratch side. So Scratch is there waiting for his moment. Now he's advancing with the bomb. Then no looking behind him. He's just going forward, waiting for, uh, hoping for the best uh, field uh, position in this match so far. Because MSA had really trouble to really um, uh, carry the bomb through the enemy side, and they are always losing the bomb at this point of the arena. And it's another time that they got it. Scratch was able to use the passive to kill. The other guy, the Stingray, and now Dream is very confident that he can actually deliver this bomb because he's using the emote, he's waiting for the right moment, and here goes Dream, waiting for the moment, trying to uh, advance. Uh, now the full team is back to the town with the MSA. Scratch killed the Executor. Here goes Dream, trying to advance. Here goes Dream, ready to score, and the score! 101! MSA and Neonites. Yeah, I'm really shocked with that actually. And MSA has the advantage because here on one thing is that Vulture is kind of like a ticking time bomb, right, Chancellor? Vulture will keep getting stronger the longer this match lasts because of the blades. Well, of course, there's a cap when he reaches on the blade he can hold, but things are looking good for MSA. And let's see who will be able to get the bomb first now. Black Lotus got it. One more time and with no damage taken, you know? Yeah, that's very impressive. When <laughs> very impressive. And Executor with a lot of time, Scratch is gone. So Neon Knights will have the advantage of having one extra player on field right now. They're trying to kill the Devil Driver, they kill him. So no clunker for MSA. Executor, very confident, very going straight forward to the enemy side. Dream is pursuing them, but the Executor is showing a lot of patience one more time. So okay, now we have um, the Peacemaker there and I think Executor will just wait for the Peacemaker to be gone uh, before advancing. And this is something that everyone knows is the a blueprint of these Neo 9 teams. They are very patient. They're always waiting for the right moment. And Wind Rider kill two. So it's gonna be an easy score for the Neo Knights. 2 1. And it seems like they finally responded uh, on field. Yeah, I think that was a great uh, uh, round for them because, you know, they need to win this if they wanna keep playing in the Metal League and have a chance to go to the finals because. Scoring that easily this round gives them more confidence to, you know, relax a bit and really think before they uh, get a, uh, before MSA scores again, so they ha don't have the pressure on them. Okay, so the bomb is in the center of the arena. Scratch get it, gets it first, and Scratch is carrying, trying to avoid that black lotus that is coming on his uh, on his way. But Devil Driver is there uh, to help him. The Stingray is almost dead and Scratch is almost dead, now Scratch finally died and Peacemaker got the bomb and Peacemaker trying to advance with the bomb here goes the Vulture trying to kill that Rampage but the Rampage has the shovel so it's very hard for a Vulture to uh, to penetrate on that shovel and then oh my god that is a wide Peacemaker going trying to score and it's a score oh my god 2-0-2 on this Neon what MSA. What is going match. on, Chesler? Each round is so different from the other. We just saw Neon Knights scoring so easily advancing. And the start of that round was so crazy because out of, you know, Black Lotus, Peacemaker, and Clunker, Killer J was the one that got the bomb first. That was insane. Yeah, the new meta is having a Peacemaker transporting the bomb. It seems that this is gonna be the only thing effective on this composition right now and Peacemaker is there carrying the bomb like uh, if, if he's just a Black Lotus very <laughs> uh, skillful but now uh, he passed the bomb to the Clunker okay it seems like they are moving promoting some changes on their roster and their uh, roles during the match so David Driver is carrying the bomb he used his hook he wasn't able to hook anyone 
um, Wind Rider, we have the Stingray is there trying to kill Dream with the the Vulture. Now that was not a good um, usage of the Nitro from the Clunker and Executor has it again. Yeah, it seems that the amount of damage that Metal Sect is, has on their, their team is kind of like doing their job. And also, the, but one thing that is bad about this is I think because uh, Vulture, Peacemaker, and Killer J deal so much damage, it's hard for Clunker to charge his special wep weapon, Chancellor. I don't think we have seen any special weapon used from Clunker. Yes, it, it, it's, it's incredible. This is actually true. I don't remember to see uh, Clunker using his we special weapon uh, lately. So Executor is there. Re he's reflecting some damage and now Scratch got it and Executor is going to be dead. And that was just a waste of ultimate. Oh my god, here comes the daddy shark. He killed Scratch and Scratch was not able to kill anyone with his passive. So now Vulture will have to... Uh, the Vulture will have to transport the bomb in just a way that he could uh, offer some damage for the enemy team. A lot of patience from the Vulture side. Now a Peacemaker used his youth mate, using the, the field on his favor. This is Vulture, oh my god, this is not a good situation. Vulture is surrounded by enemies and right past to Scratch, it seems like this is going to be their strategy. Pass the bomb from one interceptor to the other over and over again. Yeah, and so hope scratch, yeah. that the others are able to take down the members from Neonites. I'm uh, curious to see what, what the damage table looks like. Which team is Repulse still ahead? Yes, Repulse is still ahead, a lot ahead actually. 4,000 damage still ahead of Drain with Vulture, which is the top damage from MSA. And yeah, things are still looking balanced for both teams. It's 2-2. Two two. Whoever gets this match, uh, not whoever, but if Neon gets it, they will move on to a third game. If MSA wins this match, then they will be on to the finals, Chancellor. Yes, and Boop, Wing Rider passed the bomb to Executor, and now the Neon will try to win this match for good. Seems like they are not, they didn't want to to lose the bomb on this part of this feud, their, their feud, but they're, he's going backwards and Dream is gone with the Ingman's weapon. So Executor is there repairing his himself with the auto repair and oh, that was a youth made from the Clunker, but it was not effective. Yeah, Clunker chose to use it in the middle of the arena, I guess. Uh, MSA are kind of scared with the bomb possession from Neon right now. They just want to take that bomb off of Black Lotus and there you go, Clunker did it. Okay, Stingray has it and he has a special weapon to use at any time. Here goes Stingray with the shark model. He's using right now and he missed it. So now it's going to be a very tough situation for that Stingray. He is gone, but the Executor has it again. So yeah, Neonite seems to have the bomb over and over again. They are always able to get it, and Executor is there. Uh, scratch came. It's it, it's very hard to predict what is going to happen right now because both teams are playing very uh, very conscious. Yes, of course, and we see a lot of it kind of looks like a death match happening in the middle of the arena, and whoever deals like the the gets the most members out gets the chance to advance, but. The, the, this last match is very different from the last two that were so quick. Executor with the bomb, trying to advance. He's playing with the uh, Black Lotus. Death is gone, so there's no dream for the MSA. Not literally, just a figure <laughs> of speech. <laughs> and the name of the player. And the name of the player, of course. So, oh, that was a good special weapon from the Stingray. So, a quadra kill. Tetra Q, I don't know the name in English, but I guess both work. Both work. Neon, Executor, advancing with the bomb. Death is there. Death is dead. Are now, we going to a third match? Probably yes, because Executor is going. Oh! What a cook from Clunker. But Ingman is there, ready to score. Here goes Neon. Here goes Neon. And the score! We're gonna have a third match! Neon Knights nice 3-2 on this one! I 
that was a really good match. Uh, Neon was still able to deal with the amount of damage that MSA brought to the table. Uh, I thought that as the match went on, Dreams Vulture would get more and more dangerous and they wouldn't be able to handle all that damage. But we saw that no matter how long the match took, Repulse is still top damage with 26.7 thousand damage. That's a lot of damage for a uh, uh, Rampage, but we know that Repulse Rampage is very good with like 85% win rate on Neon Knights. Yes, and we are ready for the third game, so let's see how it's gonna be the draft. The teams are going to draft right now because we are in kind of a hurry after so many uh, issues that we have. The Discord went down, uh, we had some problems with some players, uh, with uh, connecting issues. So let's see how it's gonna work right now and I'm very excited to see this third game match because uh, one of them is going to the finals and going to the finals is something very important. And having this match like this really brings us memories, right Chancellor? A lot because of Because this, memories. you know, now both teams have to bring their best game to the arena to see who will go on to the finals to fight for the great prize that we have. Yes, four interceptors not an easy way to overcome because sometimes playing with only interceptors could be harsh you yeah, know? yeah although it's a lot of damage if something doesn't go as planned you know it's a tough spot that you don't have a transporter actually or someone keeping you alive yeah the problem wasn't uh about getting the bomb back it wasn't about transporting that bomb in a safe way because you're all the time waiting and losing the bomb and Neon Eyes had this Black Lotus, so yeah, it was a match of one. Even though the, the, the scoreboard the points 3 2, it was a match that only one team really gets, got the, the opportunities to advance. Neon, is, uh, MSA scored when they were able to wipe up the clean the, the way and clean the path. Exactly, for which, which, is, which is what a, a damage composition has to do. If you're not able to clean quickly the other team like they did in some of those rounds where they quickly scored and we even saw a peacemaker getting all the way to the goal to score. If that doesn't happen and the other team is able to stay alive, then you're going to have trouble. Yes, so let's watch the third game match in a minute. Uh, they are, uh, yes, we are waiting for the draft actually. So I think now it's time for the Neon Knights to draft, to create the draft. So while we wait for the draft, we had a, a, a giveaway going on. People had to type positive, if I'm not mistaken, to participate in the, this giveaway that we have yet not decided the prize. We need to think of a prize for that. And, but let's see, who, type positive in the chat if you want to participate in our next, next giveaway. We are going to give away a Metal Pass Premium. Whoever wins this giveaway will get a Metal Pass Premium. That is a very good prize. That's a, a wonderful prize. It and they could wonder... get the, the next season of Metal exactly. Pass. Exactly. Right? We're about to start the next season of the Metal Pass. Dawn of Winter, you have already seen a few times everything that will come with that season. So... Uh, type positive in the chat if you want to participate. Please. And in uh, we we that was in Portuguese or English. The word the word was in English, right? Positive. I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah. Send positive vibrations, Just please. Just type positive in the chat. You will join the giveaway, and in a few seconds we will end the giveaway and see who will take a Metal Pass Premium to already have full access to Dawn of Winter season. Yes, I'm, I'm very excited to see because this season is going to be awesome. I'm really excited to use the little monster model. You know, I, I like to play with little monsters. Yeah, so I know you do. It's going to be my thing. Actually, I'm really eager to play the Wind Rider one. It looks amazing. It sounds amazing. Perhaps we'll play together, Chancellor, and I will help you transport with Oh, that's going to be so so good from you. Uh, uh, so so gently from you. You're not gentle, this good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You're not okay. this kind of gentleman. Oh, I'm not. Uh, look, at, look at my bow tie. Yeah, how, can you say, how can you say I'm not a gentleman? We're no. both gentlemen tonight. Okay. Uh, I think teams are ready, are, are deciding who's going to. How is the draft process, Santos? There's a five minute wait because they need to pee and stuff. <laughs> okay, so they have to go to the bathroom, they have to take some waters, and they're going to. 
uh, draft again. So I think this is a good opportunity for okay. us to I see saw, the... I saw positive being typed with a Z. You want positive, positive being typed with an S as we saw some people typing. So P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E if you want to participate. And in just a little bit, we'll end the giveaway before we get to the draft. Okay. Uh, can we show the Metal Partners video one more time? Because I really wanted to see Sawyer's uh, face again. Ok, can we, Blackstar? So, let's watch it again. Salve, salve, galera! Aqui é o Spike. Gostaria de convidar a todos a acompanhar o meu canal na Mixer. É mixer.com barra spike underline jdi. O Spike é S-P-I-K-E. Então, bora lá pro meu canal. Vamos acompanhar as lives de HMM. Aquele abraço. Falou! Fala, galera. Sou ele aqui. E estou prometendo fazer vários vídeos para vocês de gameplays e análise de jogos. Isso se vocês me seguirem lá com o seu Metal Partner favorito. Vou fazer os vídeos, hein? A não ser que eu esteja ocupado demais jogando Ranked. Mas se tiver muita gente lá, eu faço lives e vou ao vivo. Melhor que vídeo, hein? Valeu, abraço! Olá, meus anjos do metal, aqui é a Rainha Kátia, eu convido vocês para conhecer um pouco mais sobre mim, sobre Rap Metal Machines, youtube.com.br e twitch.tv Rainha Quem tá falando é o Steel Blames, se quiser ver umas gameplay de um nível mais ou menos, tá passando lá no meu canal, lá, rapaziada, lá na Twitch, valeu, bom Metal League. Fala galera, eu sou o Serrad e quero convidar você a acompanhar as lives de Heavy Metal Machines lá no meu canal. O canal é twitch.tv barra Serra de Mago. Eu espero você lá. Muito Heavy Metal e muita zoeira, viu? Vem comigo, tamo junto. Fala, galera. Eu sou o Chuminho, Demônio Azul das Estradas Ocultas de Heavy Metal Machine. E convido vocês a visitarem o meu canal para assistir o melhor Stingray de toda Metal City. E de quebra, guias, tutoriais e dicas de como se dá bem no mundo de Heavy Metal Machines em breve. Vejo vocês por aí. É nóis, valeu, falou, fui! Conheço o Crazy? Tá conhecendo agora, meu brother. Segue os vídeos lá. Então... Tudo sobre heavy metal, mano. Vamos embora. Vocês, tá? Ok, so you're back and we are ready to go to the draft. Uh, thank Before you so we much. get to the draft, though, we are gonna finish this giveaway. This giveaway? See? Yeah, to so see the positive. Santos, let's roll it. Let's see who won a Metal Pass Premium for the next season of the Metal League. And the winner is. ITTI won the giveaway, so ITTI, you got a Metal Pass Premium, and you won't have to worry about getting that when the new season comes out. Yes, that's right. Okay, so let's go to the draft right now. Uh, who is the... Okay, team number one is Neon, team number two is MSA. Uh, Neon banned Vulture, and Artificers, uh, and, and MSA banned uh, Artificer. So, first pick from Neon is Stargazer. What do you can say about this pick? Well, both teams really like to play with Stargazer. That's their main support. So now oh, one of them already guaranteed. And of course, that means that the other team won't be playing Stargazer. So they already have to adjust. As Artificer has been banned actually by MSA, right? MSA banned Artificer. So that means they might have to maybe again not play with the support we'll see how they will handle this so third game place can start right off this one in the finals okay so uh i bring your hype what your game is saying a lot of turkish players so welcome to our live stream turkish community no 62 no is this there on the chat talking to everyone be welcome to this incredible metal league finals yeah well, yes. not, not exactly finals just yet. We're at the semi-finals. Yes, we're in the in finals, event, the we'll great get... finals, the day yeah, of the, fin the, the playoffs. playoffs. Yes. So a lot of Turkish... Oh, let's see how many Turkish uh, players are there. So, there you go. They have separated the great duo that are Black Lotus and Stargazer. Uh, Neonite has got Stargazer and MSA has got Black Lotus. We'll see how this will play out uh, and which interceptors they will pick. And I wonder if Neon, uh, Neonites will actually get a transporter. Will we actually see an Icebringer from them? 
But um, in the meanwhile, MSA still has to pick, make another pick. Okay, there are people, there are, there are uh, people from France, people from Turkey, all countries are welcome in our, uh, in our chat. Okay, so Black Lotus for the um, Black Lotus for the um, uh, MSA. Let's see their second pick. One second in the screen, and it's Rampage. So Rampage. they have Black Lotus and Rampage this time. Uh, their Rampage is not so good, actually, Chancellor. Their Rampage has been picked nine times, and they only won five. So that's like fifty-five percent win rate. Not so good. Let's see how they will, they will perform against Neonites and what they will pick, what Neonites will pick against this Black Lotus and Rampage. Yes, it's going to be two picks now for Neon. They have already Stargazer, probably they will pick, I don't know, can we wait, can we expect a little monster here? Or? Well, well, Rampage is also a great pick from uh, for Neonites, as we have seen, uh, Repost playing very well. So their top two picks are Black Lotus and Rampage, and that's off the table. Also, Vulture has been banned, so they won't be picking that. They only have a Stargazer that's one of like their top composition right now, actually. Killer J, okay. I was gonna say Killer J could be the next but one. What, J. One fun thing about Neon is that they only had picked Black Lotus. They haven't picked another, like they played 75 matches and in all matches they use Black Lotus. So what they do when they don't have Lotus available? We'll see. Well, their, their top picks right now would be Clunker, Wildfire and Artificer. So maybe we'll see a Stingray in place of the Wildfire depending on what MSA picks. But I think we're going to be seeing one of those three, Chancellor. And there you go, Stingray, Stingray in place of Wildfire. And I'm not really sure why they would pick Stingray having a Rampage in the hands of Metal Sect uh, Assembly because Stingray doesn't do well against Rampage, but Wildfire is still able to hit Rampage even though uh, Rampage has the blade blocking uh, projectiles. Yeah, they're probably gonna pick Icebringer on their first, uh, on, their, on their last pick. So let's see what. Uh, M how MSA will answer this pick with their third pick of the this third game? Yeah, MSA can or cannot actually pick a support. As we know of right now, uh, Black Lotus along with three interceptors is very strong. So the top picks for MSA, we have uh, Clunker hasn't been picked yet. We might see a Clunker, especially if Neonites is planning on picking uh, Icebringer, we'll see. And then while well, Killer J is off, we might see a Wind Rider as well. So I'm guessing we'll see a Clunker or a Wind Rider. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's a Wildfire. Yeah, so a uh, Wildfire, two Interceptors, and Black Lotus for the MSA. Let's see the final pick coming from the Neo Knights. Neo Knights has two Interceptors, Killer J and Stingray. Killer J is able to control and he drops the bomb while. A full Metal Judge! Oh my god! That was unexpected. I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm speechless. I have no words because uh, in the entire Metal League, Full Metal Judge was picked only 20 times and he won just six. So it's a 30% win rate. Let's see how Neon Knights will uh, make this happen. If they're, if Stargazer will be able to uh, really keep that Full Metal Judge alive, and if Full Metal Judge will hit those shots to keep the shield up. Uh, this this match right now is worth a lot because one of these teams is going to the finals so that was a very risky pick especially if you're playing against rampage and wildfire that's a lot of damage full metal judge is also not able to get to the bomb first so metal sec assembly will be the ones getting first to the bomb and yeah that was peacemaker a oh my god i thought it would be a dirt devil coming it looks to me that Metal Sack Assembly got the best out of this draft. I don't know what Neon Knights are planning, but we have been surprised so many times already during all these Metal Leagues, Chancellor. We might see something uh, crazy happening here. Yeah, let's see if they really have trained this pick and make this to a game changer. War Tordo said. War Tordo that came from our university league, our college league, so oh. we are having people from the college league here. Um, Okay, uh, 
Because what we see uh, happening a lot with uh, Fumero Judge right now is that Fumero Judge is just not able to stay alive. And not only will he have to deal with like one, I think those are like our t three top damages perhaps. Chancellor Wildfire, Rampage, and Peacemaker are able to dish out so much damage, especially because all three of them have area damage. And Full Metal Judge will have a hard time staying alive. And Full Metal Judge probably won't be able to hit Rampage because of the blade that protects, protects Rampage. So I don't think things are looking good for Neon Knights. This was a great dra draft by Metal Sect Assembly. I'm eager to see how this will play out. Uh, okay. Um, there's nothing we can do about that. They have a new... Uh, okay, they have now uh, Bia Kudark playing. Oh, that's, some, that's wrong. Now we have four, five MSA players. Okay, this is not what we are <coughs> there's nothing we can do right now because we checked we tried okay devil driver uh Bianco dark went to the msa but what devil driver is doing there like msa has all the five pilots there someone has to kick uh an msa player yeah they have to decide because we only have four players joining the match so obviously one of them is not going and yeah. Okay, so if Geno's account is working, uh, he can join the match, but we have to kick one of the players. Okay. Uh, can you check the lobby, please? Yes. Okay, Devil Driver left. So now it's time. Yeah, something wrong happened, but now Geno's will work. Yes, Geno's is there, so Neonite is there. We have everyone ready to play this match finally i was waiting so long for that but now we're gonna have this match going on okay are you ready for this Adamus? i'm really ready uh because well one out of the two i guess either will be very surprised by neonite's performance with that composition which doesn't really seem strong to me or we will see metal assembly just crushing neonites and getting their way to the finals because each uh, one of these teams is going to the finals, whoever wins will be it. And then we'll have the, our finals ready. Yes. Uh, and after this match, we're gonna have the finals because since we, we have all these problems, we're not gonna show the third game place. We're going right to the finals with the winner of this match against the Metal Sect Anarchist, and right? at the same time, we'll be having the match to see who will get the third place between all the, the between uh, Humeros Bala and the team who loses here. But we won't be streaming that match. As Chancellor said, we have uh, had a lot of uh, technical issues that took a lot of the time that we had to stream uh, tonight. So yeah, we'll be jumping straight to the finals, which is very good too, right Chancellor? Yes, this is awesome actually. Okay, so waiting for the... Um the teams to select Stargazer, it was the first pick of this. Uh, oh, this is a dance from Stargazer. Dance Stargazer, oh, uh, she's spinning around. That's a good Stargazer move. Who would have thought that, you know, <laughs> Stargazer, all with all that science and study and all that, also like to boogie. To boogie, yes. yes. What a dance, what a dancer. Okay, Stargazer with the moonwalk dance. <laughs> Oh, that was a good job. That was please. a pun totally intended, right? Yeah. Yes. Moonwalk. Moonwalk. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> moonwalk. Okay, so Peacemaker is number, Scratch is the Rampage. Dream is playing with Black Lotus and Bianco Dark with the Wildfire. On the bottom of your screen, we have Repeals with Stingray, Executor with Full Metal Judge, um, Boop with the Stargazer, and Janos with the Killer J. So this is the final match of the semi-final two. The winner will face Metal Sect Anarchist just after this match. Okay. And we have seen some people in the chat that also think that Neon Knights are in trouble with this composition. The odds are not looking good for them, but we might be still very surprised. We can only wait and see how this will play out. Yeah. Um, yeah and we can see that the... Um, the Genos 
came to the match to play Killer J. So they were waiting for this player. He had some problems to connect. Now he's gonna be finally be able to maybe make the difference on this match. What Pena said in the Twitch chat is very true. If Stingray performs well, then they might really have a chance, but this match really is on Stingray's shoulders. Stingray will have to hit those uh, special weapons precisely Especially every on time. Rampage and Peacemaker, Exactly. Yes. So, Dream with the bomb, carrying with the Black Lotus, waiting for the right moment to advance. He came back, backwards, now he's advancing again. Biakudark is almost dead. Executors, dear, oh my god, Biakudark is, is gone, and Stargazer is gone, so three against three. Executor is almost dead. Genos is there trying to use weapon one of Killer J. Uh, Scratch came to save his very good friend. Dream is advancing. So, yeah, Executor wasn't able. Oh, that was a good move from Executor. And now Full Metal Judge will try to advance on the enemy's field. Scratch is there. We use the weapon two and he missed it. And then, oh my god, the Full Metal Judge has already his weapon, his special weapon. He was able to kill. Oh my god. Killer J, um, uh, Rampage and Peacemaker are gone. So now MSA has only the Black Lotus and the Wind Rider, uh, Wildfire. Chancellor, do you see what Neon Knights are doing here to make this work? They just let Dream's Black Lotus get the bomb. They did not care about Dream's advancing. They just went for the other three, four of them focusing. And then after all three were dead, they went back to catch... Uh, Dreams Black Lotus. It yes. seems that this is their strategy. Um, Full Metal Judge is working as an interceptor and they don't care about the bomb until everyone else is dead. Seems to be working. Yeah, and it's hard for a Black Lotus to face all the enemies alone, you know, by himself. Exactly, and that's, that's precisely what they are uh, capitalizing on. Yeah, so Executor dead. Oh, that was a good youth made from the Peacemaker. So now Executor will have to back off and wait for a few seconds instead of advancing. So yeah, Executor, Stargazer is there, uh, doing her job, trying to keep everyone alive. And Dream was able to get the bomb and use his youth mate. So now he's ready to repair, to reflect a lot of damage and Full Metal Judge is gone. Goodbye Executor and goodbye Dream. So Genos has it for Neon Knights. Yeah, this is where Neon Knights will struggle the most. It seems that when uh, Metal Sect Assembly has possession of the bomb, Neon Knights will not have trouble getting the possession back if they keep up with that strategy. But once uh, Metal Sect Assembly does not have to worry about carrying the bomb and just taking it back, that's when they will shine and we will see that Full Metal Judge cannot stand too long with the bomb with so much damage on top of him. Yeah, so... Um People were cheering in the chat. I can see a lot of messages there. And I'm waiting to see Executor with the bomb right now. Trying to advance. Uh, there's players on trying to get him. So yeah, Executor keeps trying to uh, advance. Oh, no 6 2 no is it? Said something very good. Why? You don't create a Turkish team for Metal League. This, that's a good idea, yeah, right? Yeah, we have been waiting to see a Turkish team playing in the Metal League because we know the Turkish community is very present in the game and they play a lot, but I'm still uh, waiting to see when they will show up in the Metal League. Yes, this is true. So Executor with the bomb, trying to advance, trying to find an open space. It's hard in there. There you uh, go, Rampage yes. played just is so effective against full metal yeah judge. but even though, even though the, he didn't have the he didn't cause the damage uh, at least he got a lot of uh, shield because he had hit the the, the, the the shots yes that's true okay well metal sector assembly are actually struggling because executor is very good at you know just delaying and keep spinning around with that bomb until his team clears the way for him to advance executor oh that was close that was very close and executor has now the the bomb with the full metal judge and yes if with the lotus he was very patient think about being patient with a full metal judge it's just the perfect combination for neo knights to really cook this match now the bomb is gone was dropped msa had it dream has it again, he's trying to advance, 
He's dodging the enemy's uh, weapon. Stargazer is there, always trying to hit him, uh, avoiding the out of combat repair. Dream with a lot of patience, waiting for the right moment. Now he's advancing, trying to advance one more time. Dream is there, ready to use. Okay, he reflects the damage. Repo still does not have the... Oh, there you go. He has it now. He has it and he killed Scratch. So no Scratch for the MSA. MSA has one player uh, missing right now. And Dream will have to use his better uh, dodge skills to avoid being killed right now. Dream with low life. Let the bomb go. Wind, uh, Boop has it with the Stargazer. Not a good field position. Actually, it is a good field position, but very hard. Ooh. Oh, that was that was rough. Yeah, exactly. And that's but that will be the problem with uh, Fumato Judge. Uh, unfortunately, Fumato Judge dealing with a Rampage and a Peacemaker. Not even Stargazer is able to keep him alive. A full crit uh, special weapon from Rampage will take him down. Yes, there goes Dream with the MSA trying to advance. Finally, on the final uh, stretch, uses the U emote. He's showing some confidence again. Dream scratches there, trying to repair himself as well. Going to the other direction, trying to open the space. Almost killing the killer, Jay. Here goes Dream trying to score. And oh my god, that didn't work well. Didn't work yeah, well. Yeah, that didn't work well. That was a nice try. We know that Dream is very good at, you know, pretending he's going to launch a bomb from one side when he's in front of the goal, but then using the other. But we had three members of Neon Knights ready to defend that bomb. Uh, there was nothing uh, Dream could do to reach that goal. Yeah, his executor now has it. And MSA will try to intercept that with Dream one more time in the middle of the arena. Now the wildfire is there as well trying to dealt, deal a lot of damage uh, executor is waiting for space and yeah I, I'm not seeing the, the MSA team having a uh, uh, easy time on this match especially because Neon Knights even with this strange composition made on the draft they yeah. are showing some good skill the match is still 0 to 0 so no one has scored it means it's still a balanced game the game has been going on for how long now black star yes yeah, seven, seven minutes, minutes and, and no we score. have stargazer as well of course stargazer is the top uh healer but who is the top damage here Yes, let's see it again. Scratch, Scratch. still with 9,000, but then we have Peacemaker with 9,000. Dream and with 9,000. 9, yes. So Neon with Executor. He's going to, he's trying to score this time. Neon, Executor is there. Waiting for the moment. Stargazer helped him. The Peacemaker is almost dead. Now the Peacemaker is gone. Dream is there. Trying to uh, create some mess. Rampage, waiting for the right moment. The full metal judge doesn't have good skills to avoid the to avoid the, um, the crowd control and oh my god what is happening Ooh, here? That was so that was close. so close. Yeah, now the peacemaker did his job. What just happened? Yeah, this is actually very impressive. We see that the difference here is between the team's execution. Neon are always very precise with how they execute their compositions and it seems that MSA is kind of losing their focus a bit and with Neon seems to be focusing Rampage scratches which, which is MSA's top damage that seems to really destabilize, how do you say that in English, yeah. uh, MSA's uh, flow Yes, Genos with the ball, waiting for the right moment Full Metal Judge is there, waiting for his moment as well. Killer J has the youth mate, ready to use at any point. Biaku Dark, youthed, repeals, killed no one, but here comes Executor with the score! 1 0 for Neo Knights, finally! Chancellor, and just as we kind of thought could happen during the draft, here we are surprised by how Neo Knights are executing this composition. Uh, everything seemed to be against them, and but still, they are able to clean MSA, make their way to the goal, and Full Metal Judge score, staying alive. Yeah, so someone paused the game, it was a scratch. Uh, let's see what just happened. 
Maybe we can take a look to see those stats again let's, and see, yeah, let's the, see the damage stats. for the MSA. So Stingray has ten thousand damage. Full Metal Judge has seven thousand. Even though Full Metal Judge has a lot of damage right now, Dream with that Black Lotus is top damage, and Killer J has nine thousand. So you know damages are kind of looking similar. Well, or actually, yeah, no, well. Uh, Metal Sack Assembly still has the most damage. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. But it seems that it's not enough to stop uh, Neonites. Okay, and the other side we have the repair made by Stargazer. She's the only, uh, she's the only support of this game, so it's obviously that she would be the top damage. But the top, top bomb, healing. top healing, yes. But the top, um, the top uh, bomb control. He's from the Full Metal Judge, so as we didn't expect it, Full Metal Judge, Full Metal Judge is controlling the bomb for more time, oh, five oh, minutes oh, okay. out of the nine, right? And yeah, exactly what we did not expect, like our 74% of bomb that possession. That is a lot, that means that Metal's uh, Neonites are doing a very good job with this composition. because. Okay. Um, what I thought would happen is that Fumato Jet would not be able to stay alive for so long. Yes, this is something that we are not expecting. Uh, yes, and waiting for the for the scratch, he needed two minutes, so we are waiting for him to restart the match. It's one zero for Neo Knights. If they win, they go to the finals. They're going to face. MS Honor Kiss, so... Yeah, one thing that I'm also really excited is after this match, we'll know who is going to the finals. We'll see the finals and see who wins this edition of the Metal League Europe. But also, at the end, we'll announce how the new Metal League will work. Right, Chancellor? That's right. That's some news that we're very eager to share with you. We have lots of changes coming and we'll give you more details when uh, this is all over. Yeah, so waiting for for MSA one more time. Uh, scratch needed two minutes. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> it's gonna be a very uh, this decisive this round because the Neonite uh, wants to win to go to the finals. The MSA he must have to win to go to the finals as well. There's much more money at stake going to the finals instead of playing the third game play. So now Scratch is there. They are ready to play one more time and to uh, Yes, start let's it. see if uh, Metal Sect Assembly will be able to actually get uh, getting the bomb first. They will be able to score this time and make this match 1-1. -on -one. Or if uh, Neon has got like the... the the best out of them with this composition and they have already learned how to counter that. Let's see how, how Metal Sack Assembly will, will do this. Yes, and the bomb is going to scratch first. So the Rampage from MSA has the bomb first and he's going to the enemy side. Now the Killer J tried to, uh, to put him on the wrong direction. Scratch is there trying to get the bomb. Now he's gone. Executor has the bomb, but he's almost dying. Oh, what just happened? Something happened. Let's see on the chat. Spacebar bug. Okay. Uh, if we have a spacebar bug, then we might have to restart this match or have someone reconnect if that fixes it. If reconnecting does not work, then we might have to remake this match and have uh, it start with me on with one score ahead and then redoing the the second round yeah so please try to reconnect right now the, the player who had the problem with the space bar and then we have the opportunity to see it and hickey wants to know what is the prize for metal league chancellor so the prize for Metal League is a total of 5,000 euros prize pool. The first place gets how much, Chancellor? The first place got 2,000 euros. 2,000 euros. So that's 
the winner prize in the Metal League era. Yes. 2,000 euros for the first place, uh, 1,500 for the second one, 1,000 euros for the third, and 500 euros for the fourth. Okay, both teams are playing, and well... Yeah, it seems it's working. I, I, I don't know. They are playing, just playing. So Rampage is back. Let's see if he has the, the bug again with the space bar. I don't think so because they are, uh, they are playing. And Executor has it for the Neon Knight, trying to score for the second time and maybe finish this match for good. Right now, uh, Executor has the youth mate, so now he's going to score. And oh, Dream was made to kill, was able to kill him before the big damage. And that, yeah, that was a very uh, <laughs> unfortunate for Fumato Judge because, oh, great ultimate from Repulse. But Fumato Judge, Fumato Judge had just started scoring. Yes, that was very, very uh, unusual. Uh, Executor with the bomb trying to advance with the Fumato Judge, maybe could be the second goal for the Neo Knights. Now Stargazer was there to help him, Repeals has it, he's a Stingray, only a Wildfire there, Repeals trying to score, and the score! 2-0 for Neon Knights! I'm so impressed with this performance from Neon Knights, now Repulse with Stingray scoring, like, what can you do? What, what, what is, can you do? What can you do? Metal Sec Assembly will have to really change something here and change their focus if they want to go to the finals because one more score and Neon Knights will be facing Metal Sec Arnicus for the 2000 euro prize. Yes, Dream has the bomb with the Black Lotus. He's trying to advance. Choose euro for Neon. This could be the last round for Neon, but Dream doesn't want to give them this easy win. So here goes the Dream. The entire Neon team is pursuing other pilots than uh, Dream. So only now Executor was there. Neon, uh, uh, Dream, he fell in the dropper. He now is, oh, almost dead and Scratch killed two in a row. So now this could be a good moment for the MSA. All about momentum. Uh, Dream, trying to advance. There's a Stingray in the go, waiting for the right moment. Here goes Dream, ready to score, and oh my god, he's still alive with the bomb, trying to score everyone with the grabber turned on, and Dream will have all the patience of the, of all the, patience of the world, trying to get some uh, out of combat repair, but that bullet was not good for Dream, and now Dream trying to kill that full metal judge, he is done, but he's still with a low life, waiting for the right moment. Here comes Dream, now with time, in the free go to score! Oh my god, I thought the time Gazer would save. But it's a 2-1 match. Neon suffer a goal, and this could be the, the comeback from the MSA. Yeah, I didn't see exactly what changed for Metal Set Assembly, but they're able to keep Scratch alive. And we saw Scratch take out so many uh, players from, from Neon Knights, and that really changed the pace of the game. And Dream was able to advance with that Black Lotus really quickly. Yes, you're right. And now the bomb is there. Dream got it f with the Black Lotus trying to advance, waiting for the, for the right moment. And it seems like the, the momentum is from I must say size, you know, he, yes. they, they suffered the second goal, but now they just scored the first of them and now they have the bomb again and it seems like the Neon Knights are kind of worried about what they could uh, do with the this, this strategy from MSA. Scratch is there, Scratch lost the bomb, he tried to kill someone, the bomb is there for Executor one more time, waiting for the proper moment. Executor with time, trying to advance. Numbers are there using the, the Peacemaker to cause some damage on this Full Metal Judge, but it's such a huge hitbox that this Full Metal Judge has to kill to, to hit the, the Peacemaker. So Executor is going with the bomb. This could be the final round for Neon. And now the Ultimate from Executor is uh, keeping himself alive. 
And Executor has it one more time. Yes, Peacemaker ha can't do anything against a full metal judge in front of him, just unloading all those shots from the spe from that special weapon. Beautiful play from his Executor. And I just want to give the props also to Boop Windrider with that Stargazer. He's really doing a great job keeping everyone from his team alive. Yeah, so Executor trying to advance and now he lost the bomb and the bomb is... Uh, is with Bia Kudar possession. She was there with Wildfire, a very complicated situation. Dream is trying to uh, get the bomb, compete for the bomb, but Executor has it. Dream is dead. Scratch is there. Oh my god, just two players. Wild, the... Bia Kudar with Wildfire had the ultimate at that time, but Bia Kudar was very smart to not use it because she was surrounded and probably wouldn't stay. And Executor going to score for the Neon and the win. Neon Knights are in the finals. What a game from Neon Knights. The MSA Assembly will face Rumenos Bala on the third game, the third place game, and Neon Knights again against MS Anarchist in the great finals. Both teams can already prepare themselves for the draft and for the first match of the final because we're going to broadcast it. Yes, and both teams have already won a Metal League before, so here we are. Uh, two winning teams of the Metal League playing against each other in this edition of the Metal League. We'll probably have a great match to watch, Chancellor. Yes, and if because right now we have uh, the banner of Neon and Roadkill. Uh, but with this new season coming, we're not going to have the Neon banner anymore. So for Neon Knight, this is the chance to get the banner, banner back. <laughs> and it's going to be MSA and Neon, you know. And for MSA, it's the chance to have two banners in the, exactly. in the arena. Exactly, so let's see how this plays out. As Chancellor said before, we'll not be streaming the match for the third place we're jumping straight to the final match and yeah let's just wait for that draft now yes let's wait for the draft i think santos is talking with the esl guys with the captains with surgic and the captain of neon that is repeals uh they're talking about uh starting the draft i, I believe so yeah we're going to write to the great finals. What do you think is gonna happen? What is the key point for a team to win this? Well, match? let's get some stats then. Let's get okay. those stats ready. I have here the honor kits. Okay, bye bye Neon. I see uh, MSA, I see you yeah. in the third place game. So now Metal we have the Arnie both kids stats here. And Neon Knights. Well, we already know that Neon Knights is a very damage focused um, team. And with uh, Metal Set Arnicus, we have their top composition is Black Lotus. Clunker, Rampage, and Vulture. So one transporter, three damages, and two of those are very good at dropping the bomb too. It seems that both teams will clash in trying to deal damage with each other. Yes, the only difference between the most used compositions by both teams is the fact that um, MS Anarchist Those used Clunker and Neonites with Stargazer. Stargazer. Yeah, so let's see how that goes actually. I can't, I'm not really sure, I don't know who will take the best in this have to think of it a, a little bit because i was just so shocked that neon knights won with that composition chancellor i was really uh thinking that metal sect assembly had the best in that match but clearly that was not a good prediction as Mad uh, neon knights were able to finish the match 3-0 metal sect oh, 3-0 oh, oh no metal sect assembly was able to score once right that was a 3-1 yes. not so match. what Spacebar bar double dash used on my loyalty. But uh, we, we offered a chance for them to disconnect and connect again with yes. the space bar. They, they chose to, to continue. Yes, I believe so. So yeah, we, uh, it's, it's recorded on this transmission. We, we or orientate the, the player to disconnect and they just start to play it again, especially with numbers going yeah, back we, to the we, game. We, the numbers is from MSA. We gave the option to really redo the game actually and as the ga they did they played we understood they played that to the end you know they they, they, were, the they were trying so this might be a miscommunication maybe yes but now we have um anarchists again neonites on the finals yeah that's gonna be a huge thing and do we have the draft going on already nope <coughs> they don't yet. have the draft yet not yet 
Okay, who's gonna create first? It's gonna be MS Anarchist because they had the top seed uh, position during the general ranking. MS Anarchist were the, num the team number one and Neonize the team number two. So we're gonna have the number one first and then number two. Um, do we have the, the Chancellor Moss tabela aí pra gente ver quem que pé está campeonato? Uh, do we have the, the table? I don't think we have right now, right? But we have the finals, it's Anarchist again, Neonite, and we have the third place game, it's Metal Sect Assembly against uh, Humerus Bala. Exactly, and we might be working, can we get the, that table uh, ready, Blackstar? Is that something we're working on? We have the brackets. Then we'll get to the brackets, I guess that's exactly what we need. Yes. So let's put that on screen. Yes, now we have the brackets, so yeah, Anarchist against Neonites on the finals, Assembly against Humerus Bala on the third place game. And yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, cool matches. VCK Gaming, unfortunately, they uh, they played two match with an irregular player. So even though they won their matches against Humerus Bala, they were disqualified for using a player that were not on their roster during the, the first match of the last stage of the qualifiers. Yes, this is a rule that has been around since the first first Metal League. The the team, the, the roster that plays the first match in the sixth stage is the roster that has to go on to the playoffs. And unfortunately, uh, VCK uh, Gaming used a different player and that disqualified them. Yes, so Anarchist against Neonites uh, uh, we are hoping and waiting for the draft finally, right? Uh, I believe that the captains are chatting right now, we are talking uh, with Santos and the ESL. To have the, let, let's show the stats from Metal Sect Anarchist, right? Yeah, let's do it. Metal Sect Anarchist is on the screen right now. So Metal Sect Anarchist uh, had 58 matches and they won 45, uh, 54 of that, those matches. That's a 93% win rate. That's a lot. And you can see that they ended up first place in all stages except stage 5 where they ended up second. Their top uh, composition, the most picked, is Black Lotus as transporter, then a clunker and rampage as uh, interceptors both uh, are very good with crowd control and a vulture to really add to that uh, rampage damage amount vulture which gets stronger the longer the match goes on because with each kill uh, uh, vulture adds a blade to his ultimate and at the end of the match that's a lot of blades to deal with inside is asking 58 matches uh, 54 victories man are these guys human Oh uh, well, we have <laughs> ever seen them. I've never seen them, Chancellor, but I believe that they are human. They are human for sure. Uh, let's watch the. Let's check actually the Neonize stats right now. So we have the Neonize. They are also from Europe. They won sixty three matches in seventy five uh, opportunities. They have a win rate of eighty four percent, and. Uh, they have Vulture, Stargazer, Rampage, and Black Lotus. The only difference among uh, Neonites and uh, MSA Anarchist is the, the Clunker or the Stargazer over the Clunker. Yeah, and you can see that when we showed Metal Sec Arnicus, they ended up first in all stages except the fifth. There you go, you see Neonites ended up second in the first four stages and first in the fifth stage. So they have been competing very closely with Metal Sec Arnicus. We're on to the draft. We are now, ready to go to the draft. So this is the draft of the match right now. And we have uh, Black Lotus being banned by MS Anarchist, so yeah. they don't want Executor to play his favorite pilot. Exactly, they're taking, they might have something up their sleeve. Do we know if uh, Metal Sec Anarchist uses any other transporter? We know that they use Icebringer, right? They so use that, Icebringer, yeah, they have antiseptic. They have antiseptic, that's something that uh, Neonites will have to think of. Okay, it's banned too. Yeah, so no Icebringer, no Black Lotus. Uh, it seems like Neonize decide to not have Antiseptic playing with Icebringer and uh, Anarchist decide to not have 
uh, executor playing with Black Lotus. So maybe we can, we're gonna see a Full Metal Judge again or a Little Monster. I don't know. And exactly. Stargazer, the first pick again. And uh, Chancellor, as we said before, actually, Neon Knights, the only transporter they used in the entire competition was Black Lotus. And then we saw that Fumato Judge being so well used by them that now we can expect that. And uh, Metal Sight Arnicus has used Little Monster three times and won all of those three times. So we might see these other two transporter being played. They just didn't want to deal with the best transporter from each side. Okay, so uh, Anarchist has picked uh, Stargazer first. Now Neon got Archivster and Rampage for the Neon Knights. Uh, let's see what's going to come. What uh, f from Anarchist? Anarchist really loves to play with their Rampage. So probably a Killer J is coming. I don't know. If I feel like a Vulture and a Killer J could be. Uh, the the chosen ones for and them. It would be very interesting actually if uh, I don't know if Matosek Arnicus are able to play for Mato Judge, but if they were watching the last game, they might use this to their advantage to take off uh, for Mato Judge from the hands of Neon Knights and forcing Neon Knights to either pick Little Monster, which we don't know how well they do, or okay, Vulture. Vulture. <coughs> Vulture in the hands of Metal Sight Arnicus, that's something expected. Vulture is their second most picked uh, pilot with 89% win rate. They, they're very good with that Vulture. Yes, and they are taking the Vulture away from the Neon Knight. So, probably a, a Killer J or maybe the Clunker because we know that they really love to play with the Clunker. Um, yeah, the, the only uh, pick right now that we see it's very comfortable for a Neon Knights is Rampage. Uh, our Tipster, well, actually, their Tipster still got picked a lot, seven times with 71% win rate. So, yeah, I guess both teams are kind of... A third dab, okay, fun. now we're seeing the meta, the damage, the meta damage of this game yeah, with third dab again. But we, as we see a Stargazer in there, are we going to see... A little monster or Fumato Judge, maybe? Let's see how uh, Neon Knights will respond to this. Well, with a Stargaze, with um, uh, Archivster on my side, I would pick a uh, little monster because it's a bigger hitbox. But they chose Fumato Judge, so it seems like the Neon Knights will try to advance again with the Fumato Judge. Uh, for them. This time they don't have the Stargazer though that is in the hands of Metal Sack Arnicus. So will Artifser also be able to keep uh, Fumato Judge alive? Uh, Artifser has had a buff to her movement. She's able to use her uh, boost uh, more frequently and her movement is also better. But it's not as fast as Stargazer to jump around between each pilot to keep them alive. So this might make things a little more difficult for Neonites. Yeah, so waiting for the answer now from MS Anarchist. They don't have a transporter and they won't have it because Clunker was the one picked by them. So they don't have the Rampage, but they have Vulture and they have Clunker. I think we're going to see a Dirt Devil transporting here. And Probably. Killer J was the last pick for Neon Knights. Killer J, which they picked 26 times and won 21. So that's a very good win rate too. Yes, and now we are waiting for the. We're waiting for the custom game mat, uh, code. Yeah. But it's incredible how different are how smart are their picks during this draft. You know that's a, there's a lot of stakes, so they really <laughs> have to think what they're going to pick and how to take the best out of that situation, putting your opponent in the worst situation possible. We are going on to the last match. Of the fight, the, the playoffs of the Metal League uh, European edition, I'm eager to see some good plays. Yes, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see, especially this Full Metal Judge again, but without a Stargazer, this could be uh, dangerous for the Neon Knights. Exactly, and will that Dirt Devil uh, work as a transporter? As I'm guessing, it will be the one transporting the bomb, and will Stargazer work too? Yes, so. Um, the code is there. We are ready to go to the custom game, uh, to the custom game lobby, and the first match. Remember, it's a best of three. So if uh, a team won 
the two wins, the two first matches, it's over. It's over, yes, exactly. So winning the first one is very important, especially for the team who is picking first now. Because if, uh, if Metal Sect Anarchist uh, uh, could manage to win this one, they know that maybe they could lose the second one, but on the third game, they will have the first pick again. So for Neon Eyes, they have the, they have to win this one and try to find a way to uh, they have to try to find a way to um, if they win this one, they still have the advantage in the next game. They have to pick first and find a way to win with that uh, composition. Exactly, and also remember what we're we're about to watch here are the two top teams that we have seen throughout this competition. Uh, Metal Sect Arnicus have been first place during the whole qualifier stage and Neon Knights has been right behind them so we expect some very good plays here both teams are very solid uh, gameplay styles we have seen Neon Knights pull a very good victory on top of Metal Sect Assembly in the last match this I this game is looking good already Chancellor yes this is this is gonna be awesome I truly believe in that um, little monster on your screen now. Clunker, uh, we can see that Executor will play with the Full Metal Judge one more time. Killer J is, uh, is gonna be played by Janos, Repeals with the Rampage, and uh, Boop will play um, Archifster. On the other side, Antiseptic is the Clunker, Surgic, the Vulture, Wallon, the Stargazer, and Whackpan is the Dirt Devil. Look this clunker dance for me clunker. Oh, that was a good <laughs> good spin. Yeah, that was the magnetic spin, Chancellor. Magnetic spin? Exactly. Okay. Now that, we're okay, go on. That's what happens when we you put two No, never mind. I don't understand anything about magnetism to make a joke, so just never mind. I was gonna say when you put both poles together and you know. Yes. I got it. The bitter truth about Neon, none of them play new machines except Boop. Oh, is that true? Is that true? Yeah, could yeah. be. I don't know. Inside is talking stuff about... That was a that that was not me saying. That was me reading a comment reading from the Twitch chat comment. just to make things clear. Yeah, so we have on top of your screen our Chiefs are Rampage, KJ, <coughs> and Fumato Judge on the bottom part. Vulture... Clunker, Daredevil, and Stargazer. This is the first match of the Grand Finals of the Metal League European Season 6. And the winner of this could really make an impact on, on the second match because it's, there is a lot of money at stake. Okay, and there's a, the recognition of being the, the winner and having the banner. So the bomb is in the center of the arena, green light, and the first bomb possession is... For the MS Anarchist team with Surgic, he with the the, the he is playing with the Vulture. So the Vulture of MSA Anarchist is carrying the bomb, and oh my God, where he's going? You know I think what? He's gonna park. We he's gonna park. Well, we we need to think of a, a charging fee for parking in Metal God Arena. And we got Byaku Dark actually got it right. She thought that Clunker will be the one to grab the bomb first, and that's exactly what happened. Yes, and Surgic is transporting with Vulture. I don't know if this is gonna be their final strategy, but it seems like they are doing that while their Full Metal Judge is not in the. Uh, oh my God! Why does the their Clunker is not in there? The Full Metal Judge is from the blue team. I'm sorry, I I misunderstood things. But Surgic is there with low life. Stargazer helped him. It's gonna be a strong duel if they manage a way to keep the Vulture all the time alive. Vulture's best part is pursuing uh, praise, but at this moment his mobility could be a really good, um, a really good advantage for the MSA, <coughs> and the Stargazer can help him to keep himself alive. So Surgic with Vulture on the final stretch. Waiting for the right moment. I'm, 
I'm yeah. just very impressed with this vulture carrying this bomb for so long. What are Metal Sec Arnicus doing to Neonites? Maybe we could see what's happening on the other side of the screen because right now we can't see anything. Yes, they're waiting there and just waiting. Antisept got the killer J and the bomb is there. Here comes Vulture, ready to score, and he tries from very far. Oh, antiseptic! This is why they were just waiting for the right moment. It makes total sense because it's, it's exactly what we talked about before. Clunker needs to keep hitting and in the fight to be able to charge that special weapon. So if Clunker is kind of trying to compete with Vulture, for the damage then he's not able to charge and we see that antiseptic is very good with that special weapon when he's in front of the goal yes very easy very quick for the msa team and one more time oh this time executor has it first so executor with the the bomb trying to find a space on the enemy's uh composition it's very hard because he has to to hit all the the shots to be effective, he killed the Surgic with the Vulture uh, Executor. Yeah, let's see how this Artifster is able to keep her teammates alive now and how and, the dynamic. Oh, Ooh. Antiseptic, that was perfect. In the right moment, Antiseptic got the bomb back to his team and now he's trying to. Oh, that is a new mate coming from, Wind, from Artifster. So Antiseptic is in trouble. Now Stargazer helped him. The Dirt Devil is reborning and oh, this, oh, oh. this Full Metal Judge, it's a lot of woes. <coughs> this Full Metal Judge uh, was killed and Ripheus is there. Uh, Wallon has it one more time and now Wallon is trying to pass the bomb to his, uh, to his teammate, to Surgic. Such so. good control of that Rampage. Little to no health in the middle of three opponents and he was able to deal damage and not take any. That's amazing. Oh, Ripples. that Clunker is gonna die with the, the passive, but no, he was able to escape that. And now Wackban is advancing with the Dirt Devil, trying to, uh, to, to avoid the, the Archivster's weapon. Archivster is not that powerful and that strong, intercepting, but uh, it's a very mobile. Uh, pilot so can do a lot of cool things with his mobility uh, whack band trying to advance Scr uh, not scratch repuse got it and Ooh. the dirt demon got it too so the dude mate uh, got the, the the rampage and now neonites are in trouble with this full metal judge antiseptic with the bomb for the MSA I don't know if he's gonna pass but at least he's going to move forward antiseptic for the anarchist, yeah, scratch his head instead of people's. Yeah, I'm sorry. Antiseptic does not <laughs> have special weapon, Chancellor. Here goes Antiseptic, ready to score, and just an archivster there. He's waiting. One more time, the the rampage came. He lost the bomb, and now Jen has, has it. got oh, it no. again. That's oh, he has it. Oh my God, what's <coughs> gonna happen here? Full Metal Judge has it for the Neo Knight. Can you feel, Chancellor, how MSA are so overwhelming? It seems like they have, they leave no breathing room. MSA, Antiseptic, and the quick score. Now 2-0 for the Anarchists. It is crazy. We have seen Neon Knights come out of such tight situations and matches, but it seems that against Metal Sect Arnicus, they just lose control of what's going on because Metal Sect Arnicus are all over the place. It's crazy. It's crazy for sure. So waiting for the uh, checking the the results. We have four minutes and a half of match and two zero already for the anarchist. So that seems to be a quick match for the anarchist so far. Let's see how they're gonna perform on the next draft because this is gonna be very important. So surge there trying to intercept executor with the bomb for the neon executor advancing. Trying to avoid all that damage. Antiseptic is doing a very good job with the Hawk. Again, he was able to get Executor, but he passed the bomb. And who's gonna pick it? It's Boop Wind Rider with Archivster waiting for the right moment to advance. Yeah, that is. They're struggling to keep alive, but right now it seems that they're doing better, actually, Chancellor. 
Let's see if Book Green Rider will be able to give the bomb back to Full Metal Judge. But Full Metal Judge just went full offensive and it's chasing Stargazer down. Yeah, and Anthony Sam got uh, our tips. And no, that, that was hard to, to narrate. Uh, Anthony Sam got our tipster, but our tipster still has the bomb. He's trying to uh, advance. He, she has the youth mate ready for any moment now, trying to make the pass for Executor. A wrong pass, he got it again. We're trying to find a, an open space where it is okay. Now they have a free space to pass, but the Executor is really trying to, to kill someone. Uh, the Artifster is still... Um, Artifster will be able to advance a lot because of that special weapon. She can push everyone away from her while healing, so that's for sure a long room that she will able, a wrong area she will be able to cover and if she manages to get close to the goal then metal sect assembly oh okay wow anti-septic with another good usage of his youth mate and our chief sir is dead in the same moment that she used her uh, special weapon our other devil got it and now neon has one more time trying to score with the full metal judge judge of executor Let's see how long that will last against yeah, three I think, people no, from not Adam. much. Not much. It's not looking good. There you yeah. go. Wallon has it back for MS. Trying to make the pass. Now the pass was made. Uh, oh, that antiseptic is almost dying, but he was made was able to get uh, Stargazer's repair. Yep. So now antiseptic will get an extra boost. Trying to make the turn. One more time, the scratch, the the killer J is there. Oh my God, I'm confusing everyone with scratch. Yeah, today. I'm <laughs> sorry, antiseptic scratch. still does not have his special weapon ready to make the goal like he used to, but he still has all the other side of the arena to cover, so he will probably be able to charge it by then. Let's see what Neonites will do to prevent that from happening, because it seems that antiseptic is really making things happen, delivering the bomb and getting possession of the bomb back to his team. Yeah, and Neto from Row said that I'm with, uh, that I'm tired, but the reason is not because yesterday I was partying, but because this morning I had the college league to narrate. Uh, this afternoon I have the Metal League to narrate and tomorrow I'm gonna have another College League Finals to narrate. So it's a lot of work for a weekend and I deserve some time to rest, right? That is true. <laughs> you have the right to be tired, Chancellor. So Executor trying to take the bomb off his uh, defensive field. Uh, Antiseptic got the youth mate but he wasn't able to get it from Sporter. So Ripheels killed him. And now Executor will try to one more time score for Neon Knights. Well, Neon Knights is doing something wrong because the third goal from Metal Sack Assembly did not happen yet. Yes, I was about to ask for that. Thank you so much, Blackstar. We have Dirt Devil from Wackband uh, with 13,000 damage and also Stargazer stopped healing, of course. Uh, let me check that thing one, once again real quick. Uh, Tipster has 10,000 repair. Okay, so they're both close together. Yes, Surgic. The first time that MSA <coughs> scored was with Surgic on their side carrying the bomb. So they're waiting for the right moment. He has the youth made with 12 stacks, 12 blades. So it's going to be uh, not uh, weak, but not a strong, a, a very uh, not the best average. Be. Yeah, not the best youth made that he can make but an average youth mate. Now he's gone, and Janos has it with the Killer J, trying to make the pass for his Full Metal Judge. And yeah, it's a very good strategy actually from MSA, because with Vulture carrying, Vulture actually can, oh, they lost possession of the bomb, not really, but Vulture can uh, uh, dodge uh, projectiles very easily while Clunker does the job of, of charging his special weapon and taking people off of a uh, vulture. Yeah. Antiseptic with a great special weapon, not only to drag people, but also to kill and take possession of the bomb. Look at Metal Sec Assembly just going over uh, Repost's rampage. Actually, that didn't end up very well for them. Yeah, Surgic with, the, with time and with the bomb. Here comes the youth mate from uh, Executor, but very very good escape 
from Surgic. Exactly. That's what's good with Vulture. He's very good uh, at dodging things, although he dies very quickly, but he also has a great dash to use. Yes, and Surgic has it one more time, and Surgic is ready to advance for uh, his team. So Stargazer is there to help him out in any uh, situation that he can have, and I believe that they're waiting for uh, Can we see what's happening in front of the goal right now? I think they are, they are waiting for antiseptic uh, special weapon to be ready, right? Maybe, can, maybe we can check if how, how is Clunker's uh, special weapon? Number here? six, I believe. Yeah, so he's not... Not charged. Yeah, 75%. So, while this happened, Surgic has the bomb waiting for the right moment, antiseptic they're trying to get the Killer J. Killer J got Wallon, so no help for this uh, Vulture for at least 15 seconds. And yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not being easy for the Vulture. Vulture is there, trying to avoid. One more time, Yudmate from Daredevil. No one was taken. Stargazer is reborning, so now Antiseptic is in trouble. Uh, Vulture with the boost from Weapon 2 of the killer j but it was very oh what a usage of the youth mate now execute executor is done antiseptic is ready to have his youth mate i believe so yeah number six so okay executor they probably are planning how they're going to do that right now the pressure yes. is on neonite the, the youth mate is there so i think vulture will come eventually the anarchists are, wa the anarchists are waiting the Genos is dead, or at least was almost. Surgic, with time. Vulture has the youth made. I think now they're going to. And uh, oh my god, the Killer J is there. Oh, almost the passive. So Antisept, ready to go. Here comes Surgic, with patience, with the Stargazer. With, oh, what just happened with the bomb? Antisept, one more time. But they were able to get it. Surgic, oh, he fell in the dropper. And Janos with the killer. Can James. you imagine the pressure there is on Neonites right now? If Antiseptic was able to score, then Neonites would have lost the first match and they couldn't lose the next one or they would lose the championship. It must be really hard to deal with that. And they're back on the offense. Four. Four of them. The bomb is loose. Surgic. Got it. Repeals. Killed Wallon. Here goes Surgic. He against their chief, sir. And the score! 3-0. The Anarchist won the first match of the Great Finals. And we're going to the second match now with the Anarchist with the advantage. Yes, Neonites will have to think of another strategy because Metal Sack Anarchist game is very on point, very solid. They barely leave any breathing room for Neonites and if they win one more they have the tournament chest yes and oh my god people are saying that they should uh, draw a uh, park line in Metal God Arena because they're waiting too much to score yeah well with everything that's at stake uh, we understand how important it is when you're playing heavy metal machines to have possession of the bomb it means that like, you're running the pace of the game and so when you're in a, uh, a tournament like the Metal League, you really want to hold on to that bomb because yeah. it's how you get it, you get, you get the score. 12 minutes of match, 8 minutes with MSA Anarchist, 4 with uh, Neon, actually 13 minutes and 1 minute was just lost. The bomb was loose, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was the first. Let's uh, check if the captains are ready for the second draft. And this could be the set, the decisive, 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 decisive. Okay. So thank let's you. see how Neonites will respond to that because with the picks that we have seen from Metalsec Arnicus, they took the Vulture from them. Black Lotus was banned, and Stargazer was also with Metalsec Arnicus. So that leaves, you know, well, Neonites will be banning first and picking first now. So that yeah. might be the chance they have to maybe do the same thing now to metal sec arnicus but we have seen metal sec arnicus already respond very well to drafts uh in their first match uh this evening we have seen the ice bringer being taken away from them in a very surprising match with the black lotus and an ice bringer uh, in the same team but that was not enough to take metal sec arnicus down they reacted very well to that so we know that they're also very good in the draft Yes, any news about the third place match? 
uh, their playing, I believe. So yeah, we don't have yet a, a final scoreboard from that first match of the third place game. Um, Inside asks, so if the MSC wins the tournament, will there be a MSC flag on both sides at the beginning? Yes, they will have both. Yes, because each side stands for one of our Metal League uh, editions. So one they got from winning the last uh, Metal League and they will get another for winning this one. So yes. it's only fair. <laughs> we cannot take that away from them. And I believe that the teams are preparing themselves for the draft. How is it going? One minute. Okay, one minute. They are discussing their strategy, I believe. Now Neon Knight will have the chance to pick first and this could be huge for them. Yes, and they have to win. They, they really have to win. Do you think they're gonna stick with Full Metal Judge? Neon I think they, Inca. I think no, they, they, they're probably gonna change that and they have the chance to change that because they're the first ones to ban and pick. So they get to decide. If they don't ban one of the transporters first, then maybe they guarantee that Antiseptic does not get that Icebringer. But even if you take Icebringer away from Antiseptic, it seems that his steel is so annoying to deal with when he's playing Clunker. Yes, you are right, but probably they will ban Icebringer and then uh, letting MSC Anarchist ban Black Lotus and then on the first pick of uh, of the draft they will manage a way to to pick yeah they can pick only one though draft. only one so okay let's go to the draft because they're already deciding things and it's a risky thing to you know have your first pick be clunker and then letting uh, Matosek Anarchist get the two other picks which would be Rampage 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 band okay Okay, Neon really don't want Wallum to play with Rampage. With Rampage, yes. So yeah, they will let uh, they will let MSA ban one of the transporters, and if they don't ban Black Lotus, they're probably banning Black Lotus. Yes, because I, 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 do you see Neon Knights playing with Icebringer? Um, that would be very risky, you know. They don't. They haven't played. Icebringer here as they haven't also played any other much, transporter any other transporter up until now uh, that would be very risky as everything is at stake here to risk that right now so they I'm guessing Metal Sight Arnicus will ban Black Lotus and really break uh, how Neon Knights work because Neon Knights has already banned Rampage so uh, uh, Metal Sight Arnicus had the advantage of having Icebringer available, also Clunker, which we have already seen that is also very strong at the hands of Antiseptic. Yes, you're right. So we're waiting for the other team to join. I believe that maybe they will have to remake the draft because of some kind of bug. Uh, the, the clock was over and we didn't have uh, an answer from the other team. So maybe we have to restart again. Yeah, we might have to do that. We'll soon have updates about what's happening here at you with, uh, with you again. The, the final, well, not final yet because we don't have a winner, but the bracket. Oh, it's Killer J. Okay, so we have Icebringer and Black Lotus on the table. Yeah, okay, yeah, that really changes things as we were really counting with those bands. And with Killer J being banned from... Uh, Matosek Arnicus, I'm guessing they might be going for that Icebringer. Yeah, probably. Also, they won't have to deal with Rampage, which is also very troublesome when you have an Icebringer. An Icebringer, so I'm guessing they will have to focus on that. And there's not really anything that uh, Neonites can do about that right now because they cannot pick Icebringer to take it. I mean, they can, it just wouldn't look very good. If they did to take it away from Metal Sec Arnkiss. Yeah, it's gonna be an Ice versus Lotus probably. So Stargazer is important. Who's gonna pick Stargazer? I believe that's Neon will have it first. Exactly. That's I think that's the most Oh important. Vulture. Vulture. Okay, they have a Vulture on the first pick. That is very unusual according to what we have seen so far. Yes, I'm trying to understand that because you know, Ice Springer can create a block of ice in front of him and he carries another one in, on his back. And so Vulture really has to get him from the sides if he wants to uh, make those stacks. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Clunker, Clunker and, and Dirt Devil, Devil. Which makes sense because they don't have to worry about uh, Ice Springer being taken away if they're going for the Ice Springer. 
I'm just really so curious uh, about what's gonna happen here and I have no idea what Neon Knights will bring to the table to try and change uh, the course that this match is already taking because Matosek Arnicus are very dominant. Yeah, uh, Hot T, we already saw your message we're requesting toward a graphic designer and we're gonna adapt it. Okay. Uh, okay, so they have um, Neon has Vulture, MS Anarchus has uh, anti uh, Antiseptic, yeah. Clunker, <laughs> who had played with the, uh, Antiseptic a lot. Uh, being played by Antiseptic yeah, a lot. Do and we know devil. if anyone else in Metal Sec Arnicus plays that clunker well, Chancellor? Besides Antiseptic? Besides Antiseptic. I really don't know. Black Lotus, there you go. Okay, Black Lotus for the Neo Knights. Executor will have his favorite pick. And Stargazer, They're yeah, this is a very good duo. I think they have a, a strong composition for this one. I don't know what Anarchists are planning, but... For me, the, the Neon Eyes have the, the stronger composition right now. Oh, you mean, yes, but you mean because we only see Clunker and Dirt Devil, right? Yes, but you see they have the, the perfect duo of support and transporter. They have a really, really good and solid uh, interceptor. And on the other side, we don't know if they are going to have a support Ice or a Springer. transporter at all. Uh, that's Ice that's okay. what I was going to say is that I just have been watching uh, antiseptic play in so many metal league matches I just cannot ignore the fact that when you have uh, uh, antiseptic and ice bringer available like all statistics change and although black lotus is the most used we have seen how well antiseptic uses uh, ice bringer when he's transporting is so hard to deal with him because he stays alive and when he's not transporting he just always gets possession of the bomb back I'm really excited to see this Yes, and the Ice Bringer is very good against a Vulture because his Ice Barriers can block the blades. Exactly. Right? So... And also, uh, Neon Knights cannot pick Clunker to help deal with this. Killer yeah, but J's who's going to who's gonna play Clunker if Antiseptic will play Ice that, Bringer? Yes, that was my question. We'll see who's also good with Clunker and we'll see if okay. they do as good as a job. Stingray, he has an, a huge importance on this match because Ice Ringer is a huge hitbox where well, Stingray has the special weapon more often so it's his duty to hit him. Yes, and now, and Ice Ringer is a huge target so if... Yes, and Archifser is the last pick. So Archifser with Ice Ringer I believe that is a good composition oh, as well. Yeah. Especially after Archifser's buff I think Ice Ringer and Archifser are head to head with Black Lotus and Stargazer. Oh. It's kind of like the opposite, you know? Stargazer is very good with Black Lotus because Black Lotus has a small uh, hitbox, so it's hard for everyone to hit uh, Black Lotus, but Stargazer doesn't care about that because she just att attaches to Black Lotus to heal. But Icebringer is huge, and Artifster's uh, most difficult thing is to hit her healing, but that's not really a... Tr uh, uh, problem when you have Ice Springer in your team. Yes, and this is very important because oh, what inside said makes sense. Uh, Whack Ban, I didn't remember, but he's he used to be Emerald. Remember him? Oh yeah. So yeah, he used to play Clunker. That's so true. it's probably him who's gonna play Clunker right now. And uh, well, what I was gonna say before is that Neon Knights was in a tight spot because they couldn't pick Clunker nor. Uh, Killer J nor Wind Rider because they already had Stargazer. So I guess Stingray was really the best pick. You have to go full damage here. You will have to take that Ice Bringer down with damage because they didn't have any tools they could use to just drop the bomb. Everything was taken by uh, Metal Sec Arnicus. I just have to give the props to them for this uh, draft actually because they started banning Killer J. It seemed that they planned from the start to take. Uh, crowd controlling pilots uh, interceptors off from Neon Knights. So yeah, I'm eager to see how this will play out. Yeah, so we're going to the lobby. We can see the teams there. Uh, we have Winking Toss, Wallon, Wackban, and anti -Saptic. On the Neon side, we have Repuse, Ingman, Executor, and Boop Windrider. If I'm not wrong, Winking Toss used to be a Neon Knights member when they won the first uh, European Championship. Yeah, I guess someone will have to confirm that to us on the chat because I don't remember that. 
And yeah, we're about to start the match. The teams are picking, making their picks. And True, okay, inside confirmed that. Uh, yeah, he's gonna face his old team. Yeah, that's that's yeah. awkward, a bit awkward, I guess. I, mm. I wonder if uh, any it, it incites any more competition than usual, you know? Yes, for sure. So, um, waiting for the, the teams to be picked. MSA have very good picks on it's probably. On this, it's probably. Okay, so Boop Windrider will play Vulture, Executor gonna play Black Lotus, Ingman with the Stingray, and Repuls with the Stargazer. That was unusual because I was expecting uh, Boop to play with Stargazer and Repuls with the Vulture. That is true, Chancellor. I did not notice that. And we'll see if that works out because Neon has to win this game if they want to continue to have a chance to win this competition because if MSA wins this one, then they will be crowned the winners of Metal League Season 6 European Edition. Okay, Wanking Toss with Artificer, Wallond with Clunker. So it's going to be Wallond, not Walkman. Okay. Wackman. Uh, Wackman with the Daredevil and Antiseptic playing his best and unique uh, Icebringer. Yes, I'm really eager to see what both teams will do in this game. Let's see how this plays out. Could be the final match of this Metal League. Exactly. I'm super excited. The advantage that Neonites have is getting the bomb first, so we'll, maybe we'll see how quickly uh, that Icebringer will take possession back, but also the Clunker can okay. do that. Okay, Executor has the bomb first for the Neonites with the Black Lotus. Antiseptic is there, and this is going to be a tough matchup for Executor because Antiseptic is very good intercepting the bomb as well. He's not just a good transporter, he knows how to intercept. But Executor has one of the best machines in this game right now, that is Black Lotus, and he's being able to uh, advance on the enemy's field. And maybe uh, uh, betting on their speed could be the, the key point for Neon Knights to overcome this result. So Executor. Now with time, waiting. We know that Executor playing Black Lotus is very patient and he will wait to the final last minute to advance. So yeah, if we're not patient, this match could yeah, be but hard. Metal Sec Assembly, uh, Metal Sec, sorry, Metal Sec Arnicus can also be patient and just wait because it's very hard for Black, Black Lotus to go through all that uh, stretch uh, with the Ice Springer waiting and a clunker just waiting for Black Lotus. Yes, and now Antiseptic has the bomb and he's moving with uh, his weapon one, being hit by uh, Wanking Toss with the with the Artificer. Another uh, the first special weapon usage by Vulture on the Neon side. Uh, one more time, Antiseptic with full life. Wanking Toss is going out to repair himself. Antiseptic is there, and there's no much crowd control machines on the Neon Knight side. So if Antiseptic got the bomb at this far, maybe it could be the end for the end. Yeah, we'll just have to look out, look to uh, uh, Stingray from Ingemon 1. He will have to hit his uh, his special weapon and take down that Icebringer if they want to have a chance. Because if Antiseptic gets close to that goal, Yes, He's and, and this is what is happening. Antiseptic with the bomb for the MSA. Here goes the Anarchist trying to score. And oh my god, what just happened? Almost scored twice for the Anarchist. But Neo Knight, what a save. That was incredible. Sensacional. Sensacional, Chancellor. Both tries of them. That was a great ultimate. From Clunker, we were not even expecting that after watching Icebringer get so close. That was amazing from Neonite. Yes, Executor with time. Being repaired by the Stargazer. Now the Antiseptic is there, but uh, yeah, Executor will have a long road to, to go. Okay, Ingman, this is your job. You have to kill that, uh, that Icebringer with that... Um, Special. With that, yeah, with that special weapon, it's a, a big target to hit. Ingman, waiting for the Black Lotus, and now Ooh. Daredevil got it. Okay, bye bye, and Wackman is just making the pass for Antiseptic. 
Let's see if MSA will do anything new right now. Antiseptic almost has his special weapon again. Can we check the status of uh, Clunker's special weapon actually to see how uh, far it is from happening again what we just saw? It's almost charged as well. So the pressure is on Neonites to avoid that happening because if MSA win scores this and wins this match, they're the winners. They are the winners, the great winners of the Metal League European version edition. Version edition. Yeah, so uh, waiting for the for who's gonna pick, it's Neon, uh, Ingman with the bomb. Also almost has his special weapon charge, that is not good for Antiseptic as we have already seen what his special weapon, what Stingray's special weapon does to Antiseptic's uh, life bar. Yes, Executor trying to advance and he got the bomb back for the MSA, this is incredible. And this clunker has the ultimate ready to use in the final moment, so Antiseptic is going, trying to advance. He can repair himself and he has the help of the Artificer. Wallon, use the ultimate, so no special weapon for the clunker, but uh, Antiseptic has almost his own special weapon, so he can froze everyone. Ne Here goes Antiseptic. Stingray is down. Trying Stingray's to score, and this is the score for MSA. They are two goals away from winning the Metal League. But yeah, well, it's tough having to deal with that Ice Springer and also Clunker. This time Stingray was down. I don't know if you noticed, Chancellor, but Stingray was not alive to help with that uh, goal. And now they're going on. Let's see who will, if, uh, if Neon Knights will be able to do something about this. But they are in a tight spot. Okay, the bomb is there one more time. Let's see who's going to take it. It's Executor with... Uh with the sensational it's what people are screaming in the chat oh, okay Chancellor. now i got there seeing since uh, because i've already saw that so oh but you didn't see anything uh, it... so chancellor just ignored you all screaming no, sensational, no, but no, i no. didn't it's sensational okay okay that uh, it seems like i'm the bad guy here now yes you're the bad guy and i'm, I'm just screaming all the time i'm never the the bad guy i'm the good guy Oh. Executor with the Black Lotus, waiting for the moment. A lot of patience. This Neo Knight team is known by their patience. Yes, we have heard that. We have heard that. <laughs> now he makes a pass when he was about to lose the bomb. Uh, Vulture has it, trying to fight a space because th there's an uh, Icebringer uh, pursuing him. Uh, Stingray with a special weapon, but it wasn't enough and Vulture has the ultimate, but he has only nine blades Yeah, actually this part of the map is the part of the map that ma the Neonites are able to keep possession of the bomb because it's hard for uh, It's far away from blockers and droppers. So mm -hmm. uh, Icebringer and Clunker cannot drop it, but now gets the dangerous part and just pay attention to Icebringer and Clunker, they are on to what's happening. They are just letting Neonites do what they want while they, you know, mess around and charge probably their special weapons because once Neonites start advancing in the arena, that's when it gets hard for Black Lotus to not lose possession of that bomb. Okay. Executor. <laughs> A lot of time. He wasn't able to go to the enemy side. Let's watch the bomb's possession, see how it... Let's check how it is. 71% uh, for Neon Knights, but the match is 2-0 for the Anarchist. This is what we can call uh, a dominance uh, besides the stats, right? Yes, it's it, because it's like the quality of the bomb possession. Although uh, Neon Knights have most bomb possession, it's what we see that uh, Executor is just very patient and, and keeps, you know, uh, driving around but doesn't really advance but when antiseptic has possession of the bomb you know it's a huge truck he can just go forward he doesn't care yes yeah, so executor with the bomb waiting for uh for the right bomb <laughs> there's people waiting calling for the ranking mode so far <laughs> okay we got it oh clunker with the hook and the special weapon executor dodging it Advancing, 
waiting for the right moment. Where's the Stargazer? Stargazer is dead, so in one second, Stargazer will be born. There goes Stargazer, ready to repair the, the Vulture. And why this happened? And oh, actually, I, I said that the score was 2 0, but actually, it was 1 0. I forgot that Neon saved that. Yeah, that, that didn't happen, yes. And see, Neon Knights was barely able to advance. Now the bomb is back with Antiseptic. The pressure is back to Neon Knights. Antiseptic special weapon is almost charged. We will see now how charged is a Clunker's special weapon in just a bit. Yes. Clunker's special weapon, well, it's not it's really not close. He will have, something. Yeah, he will have to deal a lot of damage before they get to the go, but Antiseptic doesn't care. Look at him. He just okay, goes for yeah. it. Like, just get out of the way. I'm throwing my ice blocks in your face. Get Here out. goes Antiseptic. Ready to score. Try to score one more time, and he made it. 2 0 for the Anarchists. The Anarchists are one go away from being the great champions of the European Metal League. Yes. And. After we see that, I'm still excited to share some news with everyone about what's coming. Yes. Right, Chancellor? Uh, what? 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 Yeah, I don't know. While this happened, the other game from the, uh, the third place game is, I believe the first match was ended, right? Uh, Santos? <coughs> Who won? Still, there's Playing the first match? A little issue. Okay, remember that if a, a team was uh, was complaining about something, they should end the match, and after that, the organization will deliberate, decide about that. So Wacker commented, "No CC can't stop ice. It's ridiculous. All four alive. No problem. You don't have rampage or peacemaker, which is exactly what MSA did during the the draft. They made this happen. They just picked all the they banned." Killer J, they picked Clunker, they put uh, Neon Knights out of their comfort zone, and they had, they were able to pick uh, their greatest picks that we have seen so far, which are Ice Springer and Clunker. Okay, so the bomb is loose. Neon with Executor trying to be more objective with that. He got it back. Now he is moving backwards, waiting for the for the moment. Uh, next season is Ice season, so it's gonna be the coolest season possible. Wingman, Ingman actually with the the with Stingray. Now they are really. I, I think they're they're pissed. Like they're okay. Let's win this. Yeah. Like they're they're not uh, rolling. They're not like. And look how they are on top of Antiseptic. They don't want to leave Antiseptic alone. So oh, the youth mate, and he's not dead. He's not, well, how well, did that happen? Yes, I don't know, but he's almost. And we go. have more SENSACIONAL going on in the chat, Chancellor. Can we get a screen from you, please? Yes, probably in the final goal. But now Executor has it and he's going uh, towards and backwards. What is going on? So, uh, what is happening there? They're waiting. The full MSA is waiting for them in the, the top of the, their goal. And Executor with a lot of time. Trying to find Look a way at and all. Oh, Antiseptic got it. But Executor is back on track to get the, the, the bomb. So Antiseptic with the special weapon. And oh, Antiseptic is not dead enough, even with the, the, the Stingray youth mate. Executor. Oh my god, I, I think I, I lost count of how many times he dodged Antiseptic. Uh, Antiseptic. Uh, oh. Uh, ice barriers, you know, so he's there waiting for the right moment with the black lotus. It seems that it's very complicated situation because we have Wallon with special weapon ready to use at any point. You can see that the clunker has it. So clunker is not dead, and executor is going back because Wack killed two neon guys, and now MSA has. Two, uh, four against two on this match. Yes, now we're just waiting to see how MSA is just patiently waiting, as patient as Neon Knights. They're just oh. Here goes Executor trying to score. Avoid it. Oh my God, Antiseptic, you were a beast. What a save! One more time using the weapon one, but now the bomb is okay. MSA got it back. 
uh, Antiseptic actually actually got it back, so Antiseptic is carrying it once again. It's you can see how relaxed Antiseptic is because he seems very in control of the situation. Like they are not really scared of the offense of Neon Knights. They just wait patiently to get possession of the bomb back. Now he's on his way. Where is our Tipster? Because he might need some healing. And oh where is our tipster there it is there it is but it's being focused our tipster is being focused chancellor yes and antiseptic has the bomb and he's trying to advance uh for good here waiting for the proper moment but it's seems that it's hard for him and also another advantage that uh ice bringer has over black lotus is because black lotus is such a small car uh, Black Lotus really get pushed far away when she, uh, she or he gets uh, hit by weapon one from, from Icebringer. I think the only pilot I have seen being pushed further away than Black Lotus is Photon. I don't Photon, know if yes. you have ever been hit by Icebringer's weapon one with using Photon. It's crazy how far you travel. She's very light. Very but light. Yeah, lots of <laughs> terrible puns going on here. Oh, oh, someone please. save me. Uh, Ingman with the Stingray carrying the bomb, trying to make the pass. Executor has it on the on the screen. I don't know what uh, Black Star is doing, but he's yeah he's yeah he's doing bouncing something. the camera. Yeah, let's yes. go in and out. Okay, whoa! whoa. What a hook! <laughs> what a hook! So now Ripheels has it. Here comes Intercept. Oh, oh almost Ripheels. But now Executor has it one more time. What about the third match? Scores? We don't have any information about the third match yet. Black Star, can we please get a compilation of people being pushed by our uh, Ice Bringer's Weapon 1? It's so funny how far they go. Like It's just like this bar pushing, like, get away from here. Executor with the bomb. Waiting for the moment. Uh, well, that was a beautiful ultimate. Yeah, that was a beautiful you had made. And I mean, it didn't hit a lot of people, but it sure is beautiful. Yeah. Ingman, waiting for the right moment. And oh my god, what just happened? I think this is the most, uh, most um, hard game to predict. How many minutes we are watching this 15 minutes 73 percent of uh of bombs possession for neon and msa is winning by uh two zero if i'm not wrong clunkers ultimate still they still yeah repeal still was able to get it yeah what is going on is that neon with neon's composition against the composition that metal sack got out of out of the draft it, there's not much really that Neon can do to get the bomb all the way across. It's too many things that Black Lotus has to dodge and avoid. And it's hard for them to, to move forward. So they are just, you know, uh, what? how do you call this? Just, um, I don't know the word, staggering the game, just making it last longer yes. until they, they need uh, MSA to make so many mistakes for them to be able they are to, waiting for a miracle like they're the, waiting the for right, a miracle they're just the right sequence make... of events to finally make them able to oh and there comes the whack ban with the youth mate killing executor so antiseptic has the uh youth mate ready and has the ball maybe this time msa will end this for good uh let's see how they're gonna perform right now antiseptic clunker is coming back and black lotus Yes, Black Lotus and Clunker back on the game. Antiseptic with the weapon three, waiting for the right moment, trying to advance. Uh, can we check the status of, let's see, like the damage? So, Boop Wind Riders Vulture has the top damage with 28, followed closely by Wag Band's Dirt Devil with 28. Oh, the bomb is with Antiseptic. Let's go back. Can it be the last go? Antiseptic. He's going, he's making the turn, and Executor save it! Executor save it in the line, sensacional! What a save from Black Lotus! 
Yes. That they're was clinging incredible. on with all like their claws so like pushed into whatever they can to hold on to this game. Okay. Yes, and now oh my goodness. That executor <laughs> that, that was executed. Was, they they just didn't want to like take the bomb back. They wanted like the whole machine destroyed with uh -huh. that ultimate. Yes, real kills. He passed the bomb and he used the youth mate uh, right after. Oh my god, the sequence of events and Executor has it one more time. Neon struggles so much to go forward in this game. It is a crazy composition that MSA was able to take out of this draft and Neon was put in such a hard situation. I don't it just I don't know what I would do if I was in their their place. Well, I would have lost a long time ago, of course, because I don't play that well. But if I played as well as they do, I don't know what I would do differently. Yes. Wallon with the match. With the with the bomb. But in the match, for sure. <laughs> this is something that I'm hundred percent sure that he's in the match. Advancing with the clunker. The Vulture is there. The Vulture is very stacked, I believe. Now he's ready to really make an impact with his youth mate. Wallon. I think he's trying to pass the bomb to Antiseptic. Yes, but no special weapon for Clunker just yet. So if he advances, he won't be able to do a lot. Yes. So Wallon is there. Look at the Artificer just bringing Being there, that life yes. bar back up all the time. but. Oh, now he got out. now he got the 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 huge mate, the special weapon could be the moment. And Walland is there? Oh my God, what is just happening? How is he still Wallon alive? With the special weapon, ready to play and oh my God, sensational! Metal sect anarchists are the great champions of the Metal League Europe. Oh my god, two banners for them on the Metal God Arena. That was incredible. What a game. Yes, Dawn of Winter Season will be all about a Metal Sec Arnie Kids in the arena. Two banners for them in there. Also the winning prize and just, you know, the title is theirs. Yes, again, like again. very, very yes. good team play. Uh, a, a good team win, you know, they played together, they were able to, to find the right moment, and yeah, congratulations. It is, it is so hard to find a flaw in their gameplay, because in the draft, we have seen them, seen them adapt so well to different situations, they always have something to bring, they, I don't see them coming out like bad out of a, a, a draft, and they always execute so well, which Neon does very well, but apparently, uh, Metal Sack, Honor uh, Kids are better at drafting. That, yes. I think that was the biggest difference. The draft was so bad for Neon Knights in these matches, and Metal Sack, Honor Kids dominated both scenarios, just draft and in game. Yeah, so now let's check the stats. Uh, we can see that the top damage was Boop Wind Rider with uh, Vulture 32,000 damage, um, 31,000 repair for repeals. Uh, the most bomb possession, the most control. So uh, Neo Knight dominate all the stats, but the goals, but the score. Which is what matters at the end of the day, because that what gets you to the winning spot. Yeah. So uh, congratulations to Metal League, to Metal Sect, Anarchist. They are the great champions, and they will receive the great prize of two thousand euros. So now it's time for our little spoilers about uh, about the next Metal League season. We have some changes to make. Before we start that, I just want to also congratulate all the teams that got this far. Everyone put on a really good show, a really good gameplay. It was really awesome to watch. And yeah. Yeah, but first let's watch again the Metal Pass promo, showing what we have. This Wednesday on the um, uh, Metal Pass, the new season of the Metal Pass with the ice theme. After the, the video, we're gonna talk about spoilers, okay?
Okay, so we just watched the uh, new Metal Pass season. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be with the ice theme, with the winter theme, and it's we're gonna have Wind Rider theme with the Rampage, with all the pilots, and we are very excited for uh, having it with us for the next uh, in the next week with along with the uh, next ranked season. Okay, but. Uh, let's talk about the next Metal League season. So the next Metal League will be on South American server, so the Brazilians can be happy with that. We had we are following our uh, our regional order. order. Yes, our regional <laughs> order. So now we had the we just had the second European version. Now we're gonna have the second South American version, and we're promoting some changes for this Metal League. So first, instead of six stages, we're gonna have only four. And all stages will have three hours of stage, so it's gonna be shorter, a lot, a lot short. shorter. Yes, what else we can say about that? Uh, instead of eight teams qualifying themselves to the playoffs, we're gonna have 16 teams. So the top eight, we're going to uh, what we call Gold League, and the from ninth to 16, we're going to uh, 16, 16 we're going to have the Silver League. So the Gold League will have all their uh, participants getting money, getting money prize. So from one, to from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, so and eighth. So not only just the top four. The top eight. So the entire Gold League will have money prize. And on the Silver League, the winner of the Silver League will have money prize. So it's the ninth place of the metal league but they have their own um, their own tournament so in this way the veterans will have their opportunity to play against other veterans and the newcomers who are just joining the game will have the chance to compete for money with a different tournament but it's still in, uh, inside the metal league yes what we wanted to do is so that everyone would get something you know everyone would get a chance and still have a reason to keep fighting in the metal league to get a prize right chance yes that's right and also we're gonna have four weekends of qualifiers with four stages with three hours each stage and we're gonna have two weekends of playoffs so we can have a broadcast on the first weekend with the quarterfinals the semifinals and so on and on the second uh, weekend we can have the finals with only what matters that is showing heavy metal machines and then we can prepare ourselves with a better quality and of not, content not for just us but the teams too the teams. the teams will have time to practice and to study their opponents so they're much ready for the match because some teams might adapt faster like we saw metal sec arnicus do the winners but some other teams might need some time and then we know that we'll have a a final with a more quality yes. and we know that it can be very exhaustive to play a lot of hours in a row so we are breaking the playoffs that it's what matters that we we want to share with the community to show and to broadcast and this is gonna be fun and super um, uh, excited and we're not gonna have more the points uh, getting bigger uh, uh, getting more points by stage all stages are gonna have the same amount of points for each position but who wins the stage will be uh, automatically classified for being the top four. Or, or what? What is? Um, uh, what does it mean? That if I win stage one, if I win stage one, I'm sure that I'm going to the golden league, the, to the gold league in one of the top four positions. You so this way you can play on the first stage and just rest for the other three you don't have to play average stage. yes and also as each stage won't have that escalating point thing all of them will give the same so it's not something that the winning team will have to worry about so much yes so yeah this is basically what is the next metal league it starts on january 11 and the finals is gonna be on february 15 okay it's official we're gonna have it so we're, uh, we're very, coming with you. Yes, we're very happy to announce this because we know we have been hearing from the community so much that Metal League's format needed some changes and the way the the duration it took it was everything was so long about it. So we're very happy to share this with you. We're very excited to apply this new format and see how it will play and how you will react to it too. So let us know in the comments. Talk to us on Discord. Let us know what you think about this Metal League. If you have any ideas or, or other suggestions. We are always open for it and 
and hearing what you say. Yes, and it's gonna be awesome. We are here for you, uh, and we are very proud of hearing the community's feedback and thinking in a format, in an answer for each problem that we found. Okay, uh, I think this is it. Thank you so much, Ceremans. Congratulations to the teams, especially for Metal Sect, Anarchist, and Neo Knights who made the final. Uh, thank you so much for the team, Santos that is here, uh, Blackstar, we have Zana, we have Miss Fullstream, have the devs who really helped us today. So thank you so much for everyone. Thank you for watching too and, and for sticking with us. Yes, and okay, let's let's show the winner, the winner screen that I, I think Zanaldinho sent to. Ooh. Uh, okay. We have, we have yeah, a basic thing what to share. Yeah. We, have, we don't something. know what it is, but we're going to share something. Thank you so much for your attention, thank you so much for the team. I see you in the next Metal League Finals. Actually, I'm gonna see you every day and talk to you and next week on the live stream, but I see you when I see you. But, <laughs> no, but it's not the well, next time you will see us, this fancy will be in the next Metal League Finals. February 15, be ready, get your team, get your crew, team up, practice and play. It's gonna be awesome. I want to see you there, okay? Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>